Aww. John Freeman. Full life. Timmy Turner, my name is Doug Dimmadam, Dimmadam, Dome, Dimmadam, Dimmadam, Dam. Hello. Oh my god. Don't say I'm Dan Sam Dimmadam. Also, Zeno, I have to, I have to curse you. Um, <laughs> of course you do. We'll, we'll look for this time. <laughs> a pox upon oh, my fuck. family. A pox upon. Guy just gonna unleash a curse, uh, ha ha. Yes. No, because ever since you and I hunted. And you just kept calling him John Anjanath. It has stuck with me for all eternity. Oh and yeah, his, his name is now John Anjanath. I looked it up. Anjanath is an actual real ass last name. Is there a John Anjanath? I don't know if there's a John Anjanath, but I know there's an Anjanath, and I'm like, okay, it's it. It's canon. There is a Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, though. Is that uh, is that in the? Area well, yeah, because because John? his his name is my name too. See, the oh. thing is, guys, is that I fucking played that on. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I played that on uh, Team Four Star the other day, and people were starting going like, "Oh no, it's John!" And I'm like, "What the fuck are you guys talking?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're well. Thank you, rank. Sh Thank you, rank shot, and Jason Coy for the subs, guys. So what else can I say except you're, you're welcome? welcome. <laughs> I wish Dwayne the Rock Johnson would be a demigod and take me on a magical adventure where I find myself. Fucking hate the real world. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And now you got a bunch of people uh, in the chat screaming juice. What if... <laughs> juice. Uh, uh, all right, we got some. We got some subs, guys. We got Mpol seven two seventy two. Thank you, Twitch Prime. Random weather. Thank you for the four month resub. Neo Monkey Man. Thank you so much for being here for since week two, oh, but only sub recently. Thank you so much, Ko Two Generations. Been binge watching this in the last month to catch us live again. Also started my steampunk campaign. Awesome, Ko Two Generations. Mm. The Red Storm Club. Thank you for the five month resub. Ko Two with the seven month resub. Jesus Christ, guys. You guys are you guys are just dropping subs. Ryan Cossack with a five month resub. And I have Japes, Pigeons, and Borky. What more could a guy want? Nutcase Art has subbed. <gasps> Nutcase. Yay! Sub. Yay! Uh. Zenhawk, thank you for the 8-month resub. Hello again. Looking forward to more sky-high shenanigans. Oh. Whoa, that that was really... Now I'm wearing my headset. That was, that was Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Nutcase drew me something today, so I'm, 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 a, little, I'm a little like, ooh, Nutcase. Sir, Sir Thie, thank you for the $5 sub. My God. Oh, Rook Alec with... Oh, my God. How many bits is that? One, two, three, four, five, for 1,300 bits. Thank you so much, Rook Alec. Bits for the Sky Pirate shenanigans. All right, guys. Let's 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 real fast here, guys. Uh, we I, we want to give a first a big shout out to all those who have been kind enough to support the unexpectable and allow us to uh, do this for the amount of time that we do do this. Uh, big shout out to all those on the podcast on the podcast version of this. If this is if this is left on there, thank you so much, everybody, and thank you so much for picking everything up. Uh, we can say that we have uh, we're hitting fifteen. Thousand monthly downloads for fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Holy yes. shit, guys! Talk to brands. We got, we got to get to twenty thousand, then we qualify. Riku nine six one nine. Thank you for the five dollar sub. Now, guys, we got to do some quick shout outs here, real quick, real quick. Uh, we got to shout out all of our individual streams because that's how we, we got a shill so we'll start with gaijin Gooba. wow what does that mean there wow. taka that, that doesn't mean we're all gonna do it i just want you to start okay uh big shout out to big so shilly shout out to myself because i've been playing monster mm. hunter for the last two weeks and my good friends from tokyo tomo and hutch have been here for the last week uh they leave on the 12th i will be very Whoa. sad and it has been oodles of fun um yakking it up with four people playing monster mm. hunter Honestly, real fast. Honesty Onyx with a 10,000 bit drop. Wow, Honesty Onyx. Thank you so much. Big shout out to Honesty Onyx for that. Holy crap. Uh, Night Reaper with 200 and change as well. And Joker18, thank you as well for the 600 bits. And where can I find that guy? You can Kumba? find that here on Twitch. Uh, just look for Gaijin Kumba, no H. And you can find me literally everywhere else online with that same name. Oh, wow. Okay. TTA Dakota, thank you so much for the 500 bits as well. Appreciate Jeez. that. Uh, uh, what? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the stream right now. I'm looking at the stream. Bits are being dropped and people are... Uh, Invest in stream uh, labels so you don't have to rush it. Ah, oh, Jesus. I really... I'm going to need to here. All right. I, I got to learn a new skill again, oh, guys. Great. Zodiac Theory, thank you for the 500 bits and change. I know, Nadine. It's going to be a... <laughs> anytime gotta, uh, square anytime the words Kurt has to learn something comes up, I'm like, oh, I'll just grab the popcorn yeah. right hey, now. Hey, you know, where's stream labs? Oh, I'm not here right now. Go find yourself. Bye. <laughs> 
Zodiac, Zodiac Theory, thank you for the 500 bits and change. First time donating to the stream. Keep up the good work, you guys. Campaign is the best. Avery Manly Muppet, 1,000 bits and change. Thank you so much. Jason Coy, watching you guys, 1,000 bits. Watching you guys for the first time after watching every episode in the last few weeks. You guys are great. And Monty is an awesome DM. Not not so orgs, 500. Also, first time watching the stream. Definitely worth waking up at 4 a.m. for it. And Overlord Darkwing, thank you for the two-month resub. Necro Drake, thank you for the six-month resub. <sighs> give me a po give me a poro plox. Thank you for the twenty-five. So, so talking, have you ever like imagined me. yourself as an auctioneer? Yes. Don't say damn the dick's on dildo. So American. So. Did you sneak a Doug's Dimidome in there? Fuck yeah, I did. Doug's that well, Doug's that Dimidome. Yeah, Hog Lord, thank you for the two-month resub. Are the Gathraki still a thing in 5e? Anyways, the, the show keeps me from descending into madness. Dark, we'll talk later, Hugs Lords. Um, <laughs> woo! All right, real fast. Uh, we're gonna keep off slow mode real fast. If it gets bad, we'll put on slow mode. But uh, 500 bits from Portal Jumper. Good evening. Thank you all. We'll get into the game real quick. Yeah, this uh, one might be interesting. Don't let Snake break his demon daughter's heart, or I will cry big boohoo mm. tears from Portal Jumper 339 and Zephora Skyplay. First time seeing your stream, so take my bits. Love the unexpected so much. One quickly, who else will want to shell? Uh, who else want to shell? Okay, quickly, go Zito! 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 All right, so I am moving, yes. Uh, but here's the fun fact, is that... Uh, so, you know how my internet's been out for an entire month? Well, uh, I have neighbors upstairs who like to stomp around a lot for various reasons I, uh, don't think I should explain online. But, what happened was, is that, uh, they knocked around so hard last Sunday that they actually knocked the internet back in place. So, wow. it was Hooray. literally their fault I was out of the internet and lost a month's worth of income. So, thank God I'm Resistant. moving. I'm going to be moving into my new place on Friday, and Saturday I'm having my other internet installed there. So, I'm praying to God that my shit will get itself together on Sunday. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, is this the first time that uh, Cotton Eye Joe has ever actually benefited the internet? Because I'm assuming they were doing Cotton Eye Wow, that's racist. That's not racist. It's a fun song. <laughs> it's true. Isn't it? Ex Nick, Look, I'm where'd you come from? Where'd Take you go? my money. Where'd you come from, Katnado? Did you ever never go to a dance ever? A primordial cow. I will, I will I say. I've gone to shindigs or little, little, nannies. Little legend, thank you for the Twitch Prime Five Hundred bits from Gaia Green. Gonna run the dog zone as a one shot with don't my even, friends. Don't even try, guys. My my my, Frogmore, my high bits. school prom when that hit the DJ booth, it got real. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, Snake. Give the five dollar sub. Oh. You scored a five hundred bit stake, my bitch. Bro, bad for no bad. Next. Five dollar sub. Thank you. Okay, it, it's me, your, your buddy Snake, and still your goatest of all time at Jackbox Party Pack champion. Oh my god. Do it. Just do it. Just get it out of the way. I, I, Twitter at CNL Snake. Twitch CNL Snake with a three instead of an E. Yeehaw. Black like Sanji with 2,000, 26,000 bits. Ooh. Hey, Kurt. It's here. Love you, dude, and everyone here. So I hope you guys love this donation. And I want to hear the bit bit song from each of you, but Zito has to do it in Mr. Dink's voice and talk as Elicard and see now and look. I don't think we're gonna have time okay. for that. I'm so we're, we're not gonna, we're, we're not, we're, 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 we are, that we are sounds not way too expensive for my blood. Black, black like Sanji, that this, ooh, you're gonna have to hit us up individually for that. Yeah, I, I, uh, no I offense, I don't really wanna sing that song. Oh, hey, my emote got approved. Uh, uh, but, uh, Yeehaw. Yay. <laughs> Uh, congratulations and uh, 600 bits from Rotox. Thank you so much. Been watching since the beginning. Thank you so much. Uh, real fast, quick. Uh, Black Lake Sanji, uh, I'll hail the new bit boss. Thank you so much for the bit drop. Thank you, dude. I have no, I have no idea what to say. Will I will come back on at another time and I will, I will sing those uh, bit bitch song for you over on uh, my personal stream. Sound good, dude? All right, cool. Uh, lots of bits or oh, here we go okay we gotta get going yeah no so worries thank you so much everybody uh, I, unfortunately we have something to do so we, it's appreciated but we can't stop every single time yeah we love you guys exactly all righty let's get right into it all right, all right. you guys ready to go yeah yep. uh, uh, real fast check out don't forget to check out monty glue she's doing fan art streams fan art. As well. you always say fan art <laughs> sorry just fan art. people are fans she does art, art commissions yeah, there we go. There I'm we having go. a blast with Ooh. it too. I'm having a lot of fun. Alrighty. Ah. Speaking of fun, 
When last we left our heroes, Captain Bladefoot Jr., the Cobalt Ranger, Borky, the top deck champion, Greckles, the ship engineer, and Panic, the dad, the party was kidnapped by <laughs> Bladefoot pirates alongside of the Opera House actors. The pirate captain, Captain Bladefoot, kidnapped the Opera Company to appease a storm giant he had wronged. While in their capture, Borky rekindled with Starlight after a championship battle in the ship's top deck. Panic discovered Scarlet, a lost tiefling child who mistook the transformed tiefling for her father. Greckles made himself comfortable around the engineering crew and learned more about the magical engine of the ship. And Task met with the other children adopted by Captain Bladefoot. Now sailing over the wide ocean, the party makes way eastward, the sun rising in the dawn. So you guys are split up right now. Yep. Yes, we are. Uh, I I yeah. might do a little bit of a fast thing. Is there anything immediately that anybody wants to do? Yes. Uh, well, now that you said, now that now that you Whoa. said, that, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, now everyone get through the door at once. Why don't they? <laughs> I, now I'm that just... you said that that intro, now I have to do this. Come with me. We'll go and see a place called Candy Island. I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... The, the, the only thing I wanted left to do, if I could get any more research on the ship, any more schematics that I could copy or steal. You got maybe... everything. It's, okay. it's what is there is scarce. And you feel like just because there's no formal archival room, there mm -hmm. would be more. But what you have is basically the most essential things that are there. Well, I would assume so, especially because it was a repurposed ship rather than they built it. Yeah, up. no, exactly. Um, you assume any of those types of documents probably were just burned or removed from the is ship. Is there... I, I would actively be looking for any opportunity to pocket an extra test crystal. Test crystal. Okay, I will say roll a slate of hand for that. Oh, uh, Borky, you wake up off the floor. Um, assumedly, yeah. uh, Lorelei, better known as Starlight, I'll refer to her as Starlight, uh, she took the bed. Uh, you had a, yep. it was, there was like a goat rug, like kind of a fur <laughs> rug on the ground. You slept mm. on that. It was okay. No, 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 Borky slept on the floor, but he wrapped the, the goat blanket, the goat, the goat, uh, rug on him. Okay. Like a yeah. There you go. Um, you wake uh, up. That's, that's 30, by the way, with gold. Ooh. I, are you are you stealing my are you stealing my goat? My I am goat totally or? stealing your goat. <laughs> He's in the engineering room no. right now. Greckles, as you wake up in the morning and you set out to do the same tests, you begin to realize how monotonous the job as an engineer is. Uh -huh. Um, not in real life, but in this particular circumstance. Yeah, all you're doing is knocking crystals around. <laughs> yeah, and just checking things. Um, you do manage to pocket uh, a small crystal. You do notice a small box of them, and they yeah. radiate almost um, as you actually hit the big crystal. It almost echoes oh, into God. that. My pin just fell apart. Not Hang me on. this time. Yes. No. Oh, oh wow. It just, it just ah. fell the hell apart. How does it feel? Oh, my God. Sorry. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Wow! Mm -hmm. that's... <laughs> How's it feel, oh, Austin? Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, it's the hurt talking. A little, a little spicy uh, just... Johnny Cash is hurt intense. Uh, wow. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll have to look for it later. It might, I picked up my pen and it literally exploded. Oh wow! Okay. Sorry. Yeah, new pen plus one crystal. Yeah. I just want. I, I'm just. I'm just imagining Goomba just pointing at Monty now. Who will? Who? Who is this sassy <laughs> child? <laughs> In anger. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you <laughs> and you continue your work in the engineering room. Uh, Borky, as you wake up in your room, your, your really nice lavish room that you got to sleep in, thanks to Pitch, uh, two guards do come in and they collect you and Starlight and escort yeah. you back to the actual brig. And as you're leaving, Pitch is like. That's all I can, uh, and he tosses his hair, do for you, my good friend. I'll hit you up next time, but for now, the captain needs you for your intended performance. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Pitch, and if I survive this, please don't hesitate to check out the sweet dragon. <laughs> the sweet what? Oh, good. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just out Through of your scrying stone, just, Google it. What is this weird <laughs> Scry orcish? <laughs> scrying stone Google search it. To search. There you go. Work. Scrying foo. <laughs> well, take care, my friend, and hello. And Starlet just like gives him like the, the most angry, gritty look, and he just kind of like, huh, okay, and just steps away as you are both taken. They're not very nice with you. They grab your forearm. Um, Scarlet they actually grab both of her arms, probably because she's a spellcaster, and they escort you back into the brig. They just toss you in. 
Uh, Task, you wake up and you see Scarlet standing up and kind of peeking out of the door. You guys slept in a basically a janitor's closet for the night and kind of rolled up rope and a few linens and empty sacks of what you assume used to be food. Um, and she kind of turns to you and she goes, shh, we don't want to be seen by the captain today, okay? Fine by me. Hmm. You got what you needed, right? I did. And then you... some. What are you going to use it for? For fun. Okay, but don't shoot anyone important, okay? Who's you important? Know, like the captain or any of his men. Do you actually hold them in high regard? The captain? Yeah. I mean, I mean he treats, he, he has the others like they're his kids. And I saw that picture last night. He's probably putting a hole in his heart where we're standing. Yeah. He hasn't right. talked about it. He likes to pretend it didn't happen. That won't come back to bite him in the ass, I'm sure of it. She shrugs. But he did take me when my mom needed him, so... I have to be a little thankful, I guess. That's fair. Come on, let's go get some food. She eh, opens up the door and she kind of gestures for you to follow. Yep, and follow. And I'm also going to take note of the fact that she kept up with that conversation. Mm -hmm. This kid knows what's up. All right. Uh, panic. You wake up to a large orc with a big, disgusting beard shoving you in your hammock. Oi! What, what? What? You're not seeing the light, boy. It's time to get up. Uh, Deck needs a swab in it. He just like shoves a mop in your hand as you're still lying in the bed. Like he just swings it over. Just clack! It hits your chest. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. You manage to crawl out of the bed. Just ugh. It's shaky. Your back hurts a little bit. It's not what you're used to. Uh, the orc at this point is just gone. He's left, and you see a few other, um, what looks like maybe newer pirates, like just like blah, blearily getting up. Uh, and they're all kind of trudging up to the main deck. Uh, okay, I'm going to wait until most of them are gone. I'm going to try to go somewhere secluded. And I, I, noticed last, I noticed last night that there aren't really... Uh, were there no tieflings or were there not many tieflings? You didn't see tieflings, but you do know there's a lot of people on this ship. There's probably some, but you don't know. If there are some, they're probably pretty oh. scarce. Okay. Well, if that's the case, uh, they're probably kind of, they might be like a tight knit group. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my disguise kit. Okay. To disguise myself as a human. All right. Roll disguise kit. I uh, just got to open it here real quick. Disguise <laughs> kit. There's an 18. 18. Okay, let me roll here. Okay, yeah, yeah, you managed to, you, you kind of do Ange 2.0, or you're, you're a little less, it's a little easier because you're not trying to be, you know, a woman and also, you know, a human woman and appeasing a giant creature. A little less stress, so you apply very carefully, and yeah, you look like a human. Yeah, and you know, thaumaturgy on the eyes to as well. You don't, you don't make a very good looking human, but it, you're making it work. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. There you go. So he gave a tiefling a broom or a mop, but I'm no yeah. longer a tiefling. So no. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shun my duties, <laughs> and I'm going to. Ah, uh, is. While I was walking around last night, did I notice anything like a library or anything? Uh, not really. That that doesn't really... You assume there is a library, it's probably uh, the captain's quarters, if even that. Uh, but even while you were in there, you didn't notice a whole lot of books that would work as a library, more just like expensive books. Which even holding that thing in your hand, the book that you got, you can tell it's probably worth some money. At least it's a certain caliber of money uh, for a collector of some kind. Um, you could search if you want to do an investigation check. Sure. 10. 10. You search up and down, up and down. 
and you go up to the deck and you actually even ask a few pirates uh just like hey do we have a library and they are just like mm, like we have no idea um i want you to roll a perception check though as you're talking okay another 10. another 10. okay let me see a lot of natural ones happening tonight on the other side of the roll yeah, oh, I'm a little, yeah. I'm a little afraid of that. this is scaring me a little I'm a lot hang on low. let me just uh let me just test something I here real quick if you get another net oh <gasps> Oh, oh no! Why? I I'm feel like trying. something's wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll as well now. Huh? Roll twenty, oh. please. Okay, there we no, go. No, it's just terrible luck. Okay, cool. That's scary. That yeah. is that. That was. Oh. That is, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe it's just... maybe it's like ability. Uh, maybe it's maybe, yeah. Maybe no. it's skill checks. Hang on. No, no, no? It's not skill checks, huh? Mm. No, it's not skill checks. It's that was very concerning. Right. That was 20, a but... scary coincidence. Holy crap! For, for those who don't know, we for those on the podcast who don't know, we actually utilize a uh, program called Roll Twenty, and it shows like uh, adva uh, a first roll and then roll at a disadvantage. They have two rolls, and so one for one for disadvantage. And there, so it usually, usually drops. It always drops. Sorry, two numbers. So there've been a lot of nat ones on the other side of not the it, dominant role. There's been five. Yeah, that's scary. Anyway, at least they're gone now. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, You actually managed to pass because they both failed. Um, you see the little elf girl, the little half elf girl, uh, who you recall being with Scarlet. She kind of stared at you a lot. You do remember that, and you were like. It was a mix of like, haha, weird child looking at me, and also like, maybe they think I'm cool. Um, you see her walking with a very strange figure. It, it, it looks it looks like a woman, um, and they're wearing sort of light clothing, like a light linen, and they're walking with the girl, and the girl's talking with, with this, like the little girl's talking with the woman, but the woman's not talking back. The girl goes silent and just keeps talking to her. It's quite odd, and a few of the pirates, like, don't really take notice it seems they're a little like bleary eyed and tired um and it's also not really a common sight perhaps but you so do it was notice a, a half elf girl yeah it's a little tiny half elf girl you you notice she was with uh the other children in captain bladefoot's like child room where the kids sleep and what what does the what does the woman look like she looks rather strange uh her skin is almost a light pinkish like sort of a light pink purple her eyes are you, you can't really tell she's turned away from you as she's walking with this girl across the deck and she has this sort of walk to her that's kind of awkward um yet still has a, a sense of gracefulness to it um and she has scarce hair like almost like pixie kind of hair yet still kind of flowing in the breeze there is quite a wind today hmm. okay well i'm gonna go down to the brig area so you leave uh, and you go down to the break area. Greckles, mm -hmm. you're down in the engine room. Gong, gong. I want you to roll an intelligence check for me. Okie dokie. With advantage because of your stuff. Oh, that's a big five. That's a big five. Uh, you're hitting it like gong, gong, gong. There's suddenly a patch of color that sticks out from the rest. A deep, deep blue, almost mm. like a spot on the crystal and it fades away on the crystal i have in my hand or the core crystal the core crystal you are testing out right now the one that actually checks the engine right core crystal deep blue and it's just like a it's a you said it was a rich deep blue yeah it's really standing out it is, you've never seen it before and it's just a quick flash it's as the wave of your vibration goes over it it appears and disappears almost like you know like a submarine where it's like blue yeah. It's like something picking up on that, almost. Ooh. And it just, it, is it doing it consistently? Uh, do you tap it again? Yes. You tap it again, it's there yeah. again. Ooh. Um, who all is in the room with me? Uh, it's the same three engineers. It's Irma, uh, Kiwi, and Margo. Oi, Kiwi, we got a problem over here. Oi, what is it, Fletch? Have a look at this. Gong. He hobbles over with his little tiny feet, or he's big. He's got big feet. He walks over um, and he tests it out with his tiny hand. Gong, and it waves over. That's an anomaly. That is. Hey, Emma. So that... The gnome walks over and stares up. 
Well, I'm a... hit it. John. She stares at it and she holds her chin. Hmm. What we make of it, Irma? That's an anomaly, all right. But what's causing it? It's small, whatever it is. Should we go check the core? Nah. Margo! And the human woman, very long face, she kind of turns over. Take a kit and go down and check the engine. One of you go topside and check the deck. See if it's some sort of sky whale or something that's causing the disturbance. I'll do that, Emma. Hmm. Not like you to be up for the occasion. I suppose well, the surface may have changed you a bit. Well, looking at normally in a core kind of makes me nervous. I want to make sure everything's taken care of. Wouldn't that be the smart thing to do? I didn't know smart was your forte, but go on. I'll just da dash off. All right, you run off, and Kiwi's like, "I want, God damn it, like I want to go." <laughs> Poor Kiwi, I want Kiwi to come back home. Oh, uh, you make your way out to the deck, Borky. Kakong, uh, kakong, the doors close as you're, you and Starlight are thrown back into the brig. Are we in the is separate separate rooms? Or are we? No, you're putting the same one the same this time. Uh, uh, you were putting the same one you were in with Panic, but Starlight's now been tossed in there as well. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, my compliments to the guards. You guys really were serious looking people. The guards like snort and just walk out. Hey, I bet guess I was right about that whole arm wrestling thing, wasn't I? Uh, it's two different guards yeah, now well. guarding the door. Uh, one is a tabaxi. Um, they're another panther. Uh, they're female though. Uh, and then the other one is a dragonborn who's missing a part of his muzzle, actually. Like, it looks oh, like it's been God. ripped off. Yeah, it's Ooh. pretty gnarly. Um, B Borky, out, out of curiosity, Borky's gonna go, All right, Tabaxi, what's your name? I got a bet going with a friend about your my name. My name is Tiddlewinks. <laughs> what? Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Borky just nods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, Borky turns to Starlight. Uh, Thank you so much for last night. That was very nice of you to talk with me. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's Chiddlywinks right there. <laughs> <laughs> Borky's just pointing <laughs> at the tobacco scene. Uh, Scarlet, funny, actually roll a medicine check, Borky. Oh, no. Oh, so Ooh, a medicine, a yeah, medicine, medicine check. check. Oh, no. Ooh, I didn't pull, I didn't pull out my, I didn't pull out my character sheet. What's wrong with you? I, I, I'm I, the D&D <laughs> without your character sheet. <laughs> That's like trying to cross the border without your visa. Yeah. Hmm. No, no visa, I kill you. All right, uh, medicine yep. check. That's a big old 17. 17. Uh, you get the sense that Scarlet's hungover. Uh, sorry, that's Scarlet. Uh, Starlight is hungover. Um, she did actually drink quite a bit of wine last night, probably due to all the stress. Uh, is there any? Is there any water? Uh, no. Is but you do have a water skin on you, I believe. Correct. Uh no, no I didn't I didn't bring the the bag of holding. That's right, don't you don't have your water. water. Then nope, no water. Gods, gods, I'm I gotta I gotta I gotta say, Monty, you put us in a situation where we don't have any of our crap, and then put us on a fantastic voyage for four days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fucking fun getting back home now. We literally just got fucking back to Alavan. To be fair, you guys did spend some time in town. Yeah, we um, did. Guys, I hope I, ho I hope the One Piece was friendship the whole time, you fucking assholes. <laughs> 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 All right, but uh, but 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 Borky calls out to the to Tiddlywinks. It's, I get it's, a drink it's of water? Tiddlywinks, no, not Tiddlywinks. Get tiddlywinks. it straight, motherfucker. Uh, Tiddlywinks was I'm my sorry. mother. All right. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, daughter of Tiddlywinks. Could I get some water though? Yeah, sure. She like sighs and walks off, and the dragonborn just turns, like like a really creepy like camera, just turns and just stares at you. Is is so? What happened? You get? Did you lose? Did you? Did you lose? Borky points to his face. <laughs> oh my god! Did you lose? Did, did you lose? <laughs> he just stares. He doesn't say anything. Yeah. I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh no! Good luck. <laughs> Fourteen. You get a little scared. This is it's Bor it's, uh, it's, some, it's a like a really unsettling like thousand yard stare. Oh, it's fucking... 
So I just imagine one of those like hyper realistic like fucking drawings that are done in Death Note. The the and eyes the are like the... what like they're creepy. His eyes in particular, and the whole menagerie and... of, of pain about him. Uh, eventually, Tiddly Tiddlewinks. Sorry, uh, I oh, you're doing oh. it. I know, daughter of Tiddlywinks. <laughs> returns uh with with a pitcher and she's like all right come here and drink all right um starlight come here and drink you're hungover <laughs> no i'm not okay yes i am she walks up and she okay, yeah, go, she... Go, 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 go. come on just Bork, <laughs> borky's just come, come on just don't even with me come on come she on. drinks from the ladle and uh and she hands it back and the guard is like all right now be quiet and she goes back to her post oh, i will not promise borky goes and sits <laughs> okay. down uh, Greckles, as you're walking in panic, you were looking for, you wanted to go to the, the hull of the ship, you said? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to go to the brig, actually. The brig, okay. You wander to the brig, and you see two guards now. You see the same guards. You see a tabaxi panther woman, and you see a three mangled looking dragonborn. And she sees you approach, and she stands, she kind of puts up her hand. She goes, what do you need? Oh, hello, just, uh, Mopping the floors. <laughs> just... We'll mop them over there. We don't need it over here. I just, I just, ima <laughs> I just imagine panic scrubbing the floors like "Welcome to America." Oh with, with the just rubbing the bucket against the ground, <laughs> the wrong end I, of the broom. Or I the do, mop. I do have a bucket with me, don't I? Yeah, you do. You you have the whole like it's it's easy to get. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like oh well I don't if you insist and I'm gonna I'm gonna bend down and I'm gonna like fake trip and knock over the bucket. Ah, the tabaxi like ah uh, shite. Roll a deception ah. check really really quick. Deception. Ah, uh, twenty five. Twenty five. All right. Uh, real real. Mm -hmm. Real, real, real quick, can all the uh, all the prisoners clap? Like something's broken. <laughs> no, you clap. Starlight is like, oh, oh, oh no, stop, stop, stop. Um, the Tabaxi turns goes, you bilge rat, useless waste of space. Clean that up right now. Ah, uh, uh, that's uh, powerful. Sorry about that, lass. Just uh, let me. And he's gonna just sort of like just slowly just just clean the floors and he's just gonna look over at Borky and give him a wink Borky does the double thumbs up okay so uh just gonna be just gonna be humming just Greckles, mm -hmm. you yes. make your way to the deck and as you're going up the stairs you're kind of gliding your hand on the, the metal railing suddenly mm -hmm. you feel a <laughs> like the ship suddenly move side uh. to side and Panic, Borky, and Task. Task, as you are walking with Scarlet, uh, she's actually getting you food. She's currently at the moment sneaking into the kitchen and getting you food. Uh, you also feel a shake and a potato on one of the barrels next to you falls onto the ground and rolls and hits your foot. Is this me? Yeah, we're at you now. Uh, oh, okay. Yep. You are currently in what looks like a pantry. You guys crawled in through a porthole on the outside and... You watch as Scarlet quickly like rushes back in and she's got a few sweet rolls and she just dumps them out on the floor and she goes, Did you feel that? Oh, that bitch better save me one. Yeah, was that normal? Well, I mean the ship goes fast. Sometimes there's some bumps if it's windy. I, I guess it's kind of windy today. Um, oh, I got you sweet rolls. I got you a blueberry one and I got a cranberry one. And um, this one's mine. And she grabs a one that you don't really know what it is. Is there enough to it. ration out to all the other kids? Um, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, I'll take the put... toll on that one. Okay. I'll jump back in. Just grab some sh like as shit that I, uh, the kids can eat. Okay. Roll a stealth check. Twenty-one. Nice. Let me roll for the chef real quick. Oh, <laughs> two. Yeah, he doesn't see you. <laughs> He's he's like I stole his hat. Yeah, you you all not that would be a natural twenty, my friend. Or uh, <laughs> sorry, but you do manage to get like an entire bag of sweet rolls. Like you get the entire like morning's breakfast, and like as you're on your way out, a guy's like, "What sweet roll, please?" And the chef turns out and says, "Oh, uh, just out of sweet rolls." And he just like, "No, fuck that guy." <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
he's I, I bet he's like his whole he's got nothing but like five sweet rolls in his hand like i really wanted these <laughs> and that last, that sixth one, it was gonna top him off for the rest of the day. Yeah, he would have been good to go. It was his cheat day on his diet. Rip. <laughs> oh. This is why the line at Cinnabon is always long. <laughs> uh, at this point, we're gonna jump back to Greckles. Greckles, you're running back up the stairs, and you see across the deck, you see Panic currently. Actually, no, he's disguised. You'd have to incite him. Never mind. Roll an insight. Unless Panic, you're making it obvious. You do see Greckles rush up as well. Uh, if I if I see him, uh, well he he'd recognize my clothes, wouldn't he? Because I'm still wearing the same like. Sailor That's true. Outfit. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, we did anyway. we did converse. Borky's the only one who doesn't know who I am at this point. Yeah, no, Borky's the only one. Uh, okay. But yeah, you two so... see each other, and you you do feel that bump as you guys make your way onto the deck. Um, are there any whales in the vicinity, or anything that would cause issues with the? Roll a perception. Yeehaw. That's performance. Get that is an eight. Wow. You are you are trying to look and the wind just keeps kind of blowing into your face. It's not that strong. Not as strong as it's like been since you've been on this ship. Mm -hmm. um, so you keep getting just your eyes keep getting dry and you rub with the back of your knuckle and you look up, but you don't see anything. It's cloudy, but that's the sky. So, I mean, that should be where the clouds are. Um, so you're not really seeing anything. I'll give it a good, t I'd, I'd like to take a good, like, five minutes or so to just look around and then report back to Irma. Okay. Uh, you begin to move around, and as you do, again, boom, 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 boom. you feel something, again, sway and move. And a, a few of the actual, like, ship, like, pirates now are just like, hey, what was that? And they, they all run to the edge of the, the ship. I'll go run with them. Okay, you run with them and you look over the edge. Mm -hmm. And as you look over, you see staring back at you a reptilian face of almost white ivory scales looking up at you, clinging <gasps> to the side of the ship. Do I recognize and... it as winter? Oh, no, no, no. It's huge. It's this massive. Oh, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Yeah, oh. it's it's really, really big. And as you stare down this, the pirates are just like frozen in terror. Like this oh. one works has his jaw unhinged and the human is just like, like grabbing onto the post. And you hear in your mind, it doesn't move its mouth, but you hear in your mind, are you in distress? I'll answer it back. Yes in my mind the reptilian eyes flick and turn to you as you respond why are you in distress my friends and i were captured we're hidden and safe but we don't know what's going to happen to us I, 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 and you watch as one of the pirates clasp you over the beak and the creature clinging to the side of the ship lets go and falls into the clouds and disappears. <sighs> oh, who are you? And he grabs you and he shoves you back onto your back. I didn't say that out loud. Oh, you had to for it to hurt you. Okay, because I thought we were doing mental talk. No, I thought you were speaking yeah. out loud. Sorry. No, I would never do that. I would never blow that. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was, it was mental yeah. talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was supposed I'm to be mental. Because because you said you said in the beginning it spoke without without moving its yeah mouth. without moving its mouth. No, uh, well shit, I have to retcon that now. That Sorry. was a mistake. That's okay. That was my fault. I completely misheard you. Um, okay, we'll rewind. I would just uh, if, if, if if it's just if it's just hanging out and if it's not mm -hmm. like telekinetically speaking to me or anything like that, I would just I would just run back to Irma. Okay. Uh, I will say that you do say that to it in the mental capacity, and it does drop and disappear, mm -hmm. and the pirates do turn to you, and they go, What'd you do? I don't know. What in the hell was that anyway? I don't know. I'm gonna go tell the captain. He uh, I gotta go I gotta go find Irma. Okay. Uh, Panic, you were still mopping, correct? Yeah. Oh, the shit's right bubbling it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> The tabaxi woman is just like, oh my god, the conditions I have to work in. She's just not having a good time. Uh, you feel something hit your shoulder, though. Oh, Panic. I, I look over at my shoulder. There's a monkey. <laughs> what? 
Oh boy! This, <laughs> is, this wait, session ooh. just got. Does lit. it? Does it? Does? Is it carrying around a gold piece engraved in a skull? Uh, is he wearing no. a tie and a hat? <laughs> no clothes. It is. It is a sort of a tan monkey, and it stares at you, and you hear a voice in your mind go, "Are you distressed?" I, I, I shake my head in disbelief, and I was I like, come again. You say that in your mind, or you say that out loud. I, I, I say I say that out loud. I must have been hitting the grog a little last night. You are not <laughs> in distress. Uh, I know this is coming from the monkey, right? Yeah. Oh, it's obvious. It's staring right at you, and you hear a voice in your mind. <laughs> Uh, how, how, real quick, quick question. How much wisdom is behind the eyes? Oh, uh, that would be an insight check from Panic to, to figure I, that I, out. I, I also, finished. is it, also, is it finished. voiced by Jackie Chan? I wish it's not. It, oh, it good. Sounds... He's, he's going to have more than three lines. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, no, that's why he's not there. No, this, this, this is the voice of Adam Sandler. Oh, Sorry, fuck! Oh, God. God. No. Um... Does it look like a regular monkey? It looks like a, a chapukin, a chapun. How do you say it? I can never say chimpanzee? it. Chimpanzee. Not a chimpanzee. It's 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 a small monkey. A chapuk, a chabukin. I can never remember the name of it. Chumba it's, it's a tiny monkey. It's the same. Like it's kind of like a. Not a tamarind. Um, it, it's like kind of like the same size as the monkey from Pirates of the Caribbean. Cappuccino. It's small. Hi, welcome to uh, Monkey Talk. Cappuccino. We're with our host Carl Pilkington. <laughs> monkey news. Oh. <laughs> Now, most uh, monkeys are known to live in the jungle. Right, it's mental, mentally, you know. Hmm. <laughs> it's a well, the monkey uh, does ask uh, you if you if you are not in distress. Uh... <clears throat> I say in Infernal, y yes. Me and my me and my comrades were were captured by this pirate crew, and we are trying to find a way off of the ship. Safely. You say that you say that in Infernal. In Infernal. Okay, one second. Let me check something here. The monkey doesn't. The monkey doesn't speak Infernal. Um... And then you see the monkey just go back and go, "Oh shit, he is a distress. He's talking in tongues." Wait, uh, it's, you, it's only, you say, it's only you the, say you say that only, in Infernal, correct? You say that yeah, out loud. Yeah. It's only the it's only the two it's only the two guards there. The tobacco yeah, and the no. dragon. Right? There's like a few other guards like cleaning, but you don't expect that they would know the language, and they don't even like, okay. look up or even move. Uh, but okay. the monkey the monkey does nod, and it jumps off of your shoulder. You kind of stagger a bit because it's got some weight to it. It runs to the edge of the ship and jumps off. <laughs> oh, what the nice. fuck was that all about? <laughs> nice. Uh, you saw that, right? He says to the Sabaxi. Did Borky did Borky see the monkey jump off? No, it was a silent monkey made not a single noise, but you did hear panic talking, and the guards like turn over as you're saying, Oh, did you see that? What the fuck was that? I Fucking think you've monkey. been hitting the I think you've been hitting the bottle a little too hard. Fucking monkey needs a pit of shit. <laughs> 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 I'm half expecting like another one just to show up to Borky as a pink elephant now. <laughs> uh, task you and Scarlet. Scarlet takes you to kind of like a secret part of the actual deck as well, and she lays out for you a bunch of other things. You're heading back to Irma, correct? Greckles, you're heading back to yep. the hole. Okay, you're yep. running. Um, and uh, task you sit out and there's sweet rolls, and you guys kind of enjoy first. You guys are hungry. You eat your breakfast. Um, and Scarlet, do you want to try the cranberry one? Very well. I've never had cranberry before, so let's You're, give it a try. You gotta trade me for your chocolate one, though. Oh, man. Does it, without does, does it without haste. Yes! That's smart, because kobolds can't have chocolate. <laughs> oh, don't know that. oh, some new fresh lore even I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, she takes it and she eats it, and as you guys eat, a cat walks up to you, and she's like, oh, hi. She pets it, and the cat turns and looks to you, Task, and you hear a voice in your mind go, are you in distress? Task will not respond back to it verbally. Are you able to speak to me through my head? He says that mentally. 
Yes. Are you in distress? To some degree, yes. Please explain. My friends and wait a minute. <laughs> wait a damn second. Is this a trick? Do you say that in your mind? Yeah, no, Tass just like was about to explain but then stares and leers at the cat. Who sent you? Stormbeard. And who is Stormbeard? Are you in distress? <clears throat> yes. Because I'm very confused that I'm talking to a cat. I don't know its point of origin, and I don't know if my friends or I are in grave, grave danger. As you're, as you're, as you're like your brows furrow and you're, you're mentally speaking to this cat. Scar, it's like, are you okay? It's just a cat. My father, or the person who had me before I ended up on this ship. He, uh, he wanted me to call him his father. He had a cat, and it was a very vicious little thing. Oh, okay. So, forgive me, I have a little bit of a history with cats. Leers shoo. back at the cat. Shoo, shoo! And the cat scampers off and sets up on top of the, the railing on the edge of the ship as uh, Scarlet goes back and eats your meal. And you watch from the corner of your eyes as it just drops off the side. Wait, what? Run over! You run over and you don't, you just see clouds. Uh, actually, roll a perception check. You might catch a glimpse of something. See, the, the fucked up thing is, is that I've been playing with actual dice for the longest time. I actually looked around me to find real dice to roll. <laughs> oh no, sorry. Perception? Yeah, perception. 19. You see a tail, a long tail, lizard-like, disappear into the cloud. It rushes the clouds away and then is out of sight as the ship moves forward. And then once again, you feel <laughs> as the ship echoes again. Rolling a... What would it be, a history check to discern what the fuck I just saw? Uh, let's say... What would this fall under? Uh, let's say knowledge religion. Oh, jeez. 14. 14? Let me roll here. The only other thing you could uh, discern... <clears throat> Uh, there, there's many things that this could be. It's definitely not a dragon. Uh, you know it's not a dragon. You don't know what it is, though. But you know it's not a dragon. But it is reptilian. That tail was reptilian. You are you are 100% certain that it's not have, a dragon. Having seen its face, would I be able to roll anything? Uh, I mean, you saw just the head. You didn't see much else. Okay. Um, you could roll knowledge religion, but I'd say with disadvantage because you didn't see the whole thing. Well, plus it's also a really weird. Yeah, it's a little thing. bit of a weird, weird experience. Where's religion? Religion? Where are you? Okay. With disadvantage. Yeah, so that's four. No yeah. idea. You're like that was. I don't even know. Okay. Uh, you make your way back, and Irma is there, and they're all staring now at mm -hmm. the all all of the engineers at this point. Kiwi and Irma, because Margo's in the engine room. Um, I want to do I want to do a thing. Okay, um, they they are looking intently at one of these crystals at the moment, and they're hitting it. Uh, what do you want to do? I want to. Um, is is there like a table or a large chair I could get underneath? No, there is okay. not. Uh, it is a very cramped room. There's like crates, but they're not like ones you could step on top of. They have stuff in them. I want to, I want to, I want, when I get in the door, I kind of want to get in a semi fetal position and fake being terrified because apparently, according to Emma, I'm a giant coward. Okay. Um, and it just be like, da, 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 dragon! Uh, roll a, <laughs> roll a, uh, this would be, this would be deception. You're deceiving. Uh, roll a deception check because you're pretending to be someone else. 16. Okay, I'm gonna roll for Irma. Yep, there it is. She looks at you carrying underneath, beneath the chair. Knew it wouldn't last! What was this about a dragon? I, I, I think there's a dragon out there. Some of, the other, some of the other boys saw him. What did this dragon look like? What color was it? Uh, Whitish? I don't know. White. She looks at, at Kiwi and Kiwi's like, with his tiny little arms and shrugs, they just kind of stick out a little bit out of the side. 
Kiwi, my mate, you gotta believe me. It was just this giant lizard dragon thing. I, I, I believe you, Fletch. It's just it's, white dragons ain't coming this far west. They come from the north. What'd be a white dragon be doing over it? And as he says, like, mm, the ship moves and jolts side to side. Uh, Borky, I want you to roll a reflex save. Panic, I want you to roll a reflex save. And Task, you don't have to roll anything because you're sitting down. You're fine. But for those of you standing, everybody roll a, a dexterity saving throw. Sorry, not a reflex. Sweet roll. Roll a reflex save. Natural. My oh. sweet roll. Oh, boy. Panic. Tan Borky with the t Borky with Okay. The Panic, you go right into that mop water. <laughs> and your disguise begins to melt off. Oh, no. Oh, I'm, keep, I'm keeping that bucket on my head. <laughs> okay. You just instinctually just yes. grab the bucket and just <laughs> put it on your head. There's some gross, like, old dirt, like, that's slimy and, like, orange. And it's kind of, like, from the bucket orange. being sitting. Yeah, it's an old bucket. It's gross and, like, slimy on the inside. Oh, it's you got algae. rust water in there, oh. dude. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Ugh. Like um, suddenly went dark. Sediment. <laughs> uh, Borky, you smash right into the bars. Your your tusks, like, crack against the bars. Oh. And you steady yourself. And I'm going to roll four tittlewinks. And other guy. Ooh, other guy stumbles. Other guy stumbles and Tiddlewinks grabs him and brings him up. And she goes, what the bloody hell is that? And then you begin to hear screaming on the whole of the ship. You begin to hear shouts and yells. Uh, Tass, you hear it from a distance and Scarlet just shoots up and she goes, I think we're under attack. And By who? I don't know. Maybe Sky Sharks or something? Sky she, Sharks? She what? That's a thing? Sky Shark. She grabs your hand and she starts going, we gotta get inside, let's go inside. Wait, Wait no. better idea. Where's there an armory? Task has the bow. Know. This isn't the time for that. I I need to find my dad, I need to find my dad. And she grabs your shoulders and she lets go and she runs. Oh, God damn it. Um, And I would like everybody to roll initiative. This is gonna be yeah. interesting. Whoa! Whoa. Everyone? Yeah. This is this is a non-combative. That's a fourteen initiative, initiative for me. Uh, give Seven, me one 14. quick second. I yeah, for sure. Move. Seventeen for me. F five. Oh god! Five. But it's fight music. Give it's me intense. One quick music. second. I'm gonna utilize the facility. Oh. Yeah. Nope. For sure. This is a good time to do it. Uh. So Greckles. Okay. And then. Uh, who who has the more dexterity? I'm assuming Tass, you have the higher dexterity. Five. Yeah, I'm gonna go Tass, Nesk, Panic. Okay, and then poor Borky. Oh, it's okay, Borky didn't even get a magical animal to come talk to him, it's okay. You're in a jail cell, like, come on. A quarter bait of cockroach. 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 Okay. Oh. Why can't I need to roll for a lot of people for this, and that dice just disappeared. There we go. Okay, that one goes. Mm. By the way, Monty, I'm kidding. It's all good. I no, it's okay. I, I can murder. It's possible. I'm just joking. I'm not going to. No! No! <laughs> just... Oh, no. Oh. So, uh, it's Raver's big big brother, Big Raver. This, He's got four this, arms. This, this isn't meant to be metagaming. I just think it's interesting to mention out of character. Storm giants are typically not evil. So this is going to be interesting. Typically. Da, da, da. That's why I said it's going to be interesting one way or another. Either, yeah. we're, either we're helping the evil people or I, suddenly I, good boy's I, I, bad. I, I, Joke's on you. It's, I, it's evil Jerry Flump back from the grave. He wants revenge. Oh, we're Jesus. not going to get enough scream time. He's going to say goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye! goodbye! <laughs> oh no, Jerry, no. Like five, five pitch mods down. Goodbye. <laughs> When we have Snake back, we can begin. Oh. I wish I had an hourglass. This would be great for that. Oh, uh, is this timed? Slightly. Ah! Worst part of the video game. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's not an escort quest. No, it's not. I would, I, I mean, would rather. This is the Nergagante. This is fucking Nergagante with ten minutes. Oh fuck you, Zito. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I do not want to fight Nerdy Dante ever again. Nerdy Dante. <laughs> Nerdy Dante. Oh, Nerdy you're back. Dante. Okay, we have Snake back. Everybody else is here. Uh -huh. Everyone else yeah. is ready to go. Alrighty, uh -huh. Greco. Uh, actually, no, you're not a first. Uh -oh. Um, the ship begins to crack and buckle, and as it shifts side to side, 
Irma immediately grabs the crystal that's showing the signs. It is completely blue now. And she goes, something shut down the engine. Oh, Kiwi. I, uh, let's go, Fletch. And he grabs you and you both run. I'm assuming you want to head towards the engine. Duh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that ends your turn. Task, it is now your turn. You are on the opposite deck um, of the ship. In fact, I'm going to bring up, I'm going to quickly draw out a diagram. I honestly should have drawn this up initially. I figured we could do this theater of the mind. Uh, but, I want to quickly just see what's over the side before r running after Scarlet. Okay, roll a perception check with advantage. Hot dog! 25. 25. You see now, breaching out through the clouds, gonna do this quickly as just a broad sort It's a of sky abolith. It is. It's not a sky Stop. Uh <laughs> You begin to see flying out winged serpents, large winged serpents, flying in a huge swarm in and out of the clouds. And you begin to see fire now, cannon fire, arrow fire, crossbow bolt fire, spells. Uh, one guy throws a bottle at one of them and this is completely, he just wants to be part of it. Um, and you see them, mm-hmm. Are these, are these the good boys from the East? I don't know. Okay. We, we'll find out. Um, and you see these large winged serpents, they fly and you watch one uh, task as one runs out and like, goes to aim and shoot a crossbow bolt. One of the serpents come down with the, uh, comes down with its mouth, grabs the guy by the back of his jacket and just takes him off the ship. Oh. Just oh, throws fuck. him over. Oh, and then it turns shit. and looks to you, and it's kind of standing on both of its wings, moves towards you in a sort of gentle gait. A gentle what? Gaze? A, a gentle gaze, like a very, not like I'm gonna eat you, but like a, hey, how's it going? Sort of gaze. <laughs> I assume you're what was speaking to me? I am. Come with me. As long as you can promise the kids don't get hurt. What is a kid? Ta do we? Do I see Scarlet off in the distance? She's run off. Ah, uh, damn it. There's a small tiefling, and a bunch of like children, just young, young. I. It's a hard to describe. Task will actually go with him though, as he's explaining though. Yeah, yeah. She's like, like the the, the giant serpent thing is just like, mm, like just flies off with you. Uh, they wrap their tail around you, like kind of like a basket almost, like you're sitting kind of in a weird tight basket, and they just gently like lift you off, like ferry you off the ship, and soon you see. Um, just tons of them, like pirates are falling. These things are swarming around, snapping at each other. Um, and that goes to Panic's turn. Panic, you stand, I assume you stand up with your bucket on your head. Uh, hello, it's dark in here. Uh, <laughs> Nothing to report. I want you to roll a, uh, cause you can't see, can you? Cause you got the bucket on your head. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess not. No. Uh, although uh, with the, with the with the commotion, I guess I'll I'll lift it up and just take a quick. Um, you begin to feel something grab you around your waist, um, like a big hug, like a bear hug behind you. Grab okay, you. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that. I'm you gonna... lift up the bucket and you see staring down at you a snake, like a serpent's head and a big loft wings brought out. Uh. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, and then they take off. And you are just grab and hold. And it, Panic, no! Lorky, you watch as your companion is grabbed by a snake and then basically f dive bombs off the side of the ship. My god, I know we angered Hasra, but not this much. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that brings us to Borky. Uh, you watch as another one of these snake creatures falls down and just pounces on top of Tiddlewinks. And you screams and shout as she pulls out a dagger and tries to stab it. And her dagger just slides off the edge of this thing's armor and it coils around her and then just beats its wing. The wings hit the side of the uh, brig, like the wooden partition of the brig. And everyone just ducks and, and powers in fear as it drags away, Tiddlywinks is like her claws are dragging across the wooden floor like a cat not wanting to go into a box. And it just pulls her and rips her and rips her down. 
past the side edge of the ship. Wow, and the that's dragon terrifying. Born, yeah, it's pretty scary. The so Dragonborn is also over. grabbed in a similar fashion, though. He puts up more of a fight. He actually punches his in the eye, but it still manages to drag him out and toss him down. And then you see another one land, and it transforms. I'm glad they rolled first. Um, and it transforms into a beautiful woman and steps into the brig and looks side to side and goes, are you in distress into your mind? Yes, um, there are a lot of snakes attacking us. We mean you, no harm. Oh, okay. Yeah, then I'm good. Okay, and I'm going to have a little strength check. <laughs> okay, yeah, then we're good. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, it transforms back into a snake. Uh, ah. I'm going to have it really quickly. Alrighty. Uh, it grabs the bars with one of its tail and just rips them off. So your, dar uh, your door is now open. Uh, Bor Borky moves to protect uh, Starlight because Borky still doesn't know how. how, how yeah, this is this. a bizarre scenario. Um, everything is crazy. You hear screams and shouts and bolts and fires and cannons are exploding out, and there's just mass confusion. Um, and Scarlet, poor little Scarlet, runs on to the deck of the ship, and she's gonna try and look for you, Panic, but you are not around, and she cannot find you. That brings us back to their turn. All right, yeah, I'll skip that. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Uh, you are running with Kiwi down the corridor and eventually you just turn around and you make it to the engine room and you see probably hundreds of these winged snake creatures currently coiling around the giant crystal that powers the ship. And you can tell, just your ears are popping, that the altitude is lowering. The ship is coming down. Right. And you Do watch we... as poor Margo with the wrench is like, get off! Get off! Like, trying to get these things off. Do any of them speak to me? No, they are currently completely coiled around the engine room. Oh, and it was Margaret that was in there, you said? Margo. Yeah, Mar Margo's in there. She's the long face on assuming girl. Um, Margo, she's... get out of this! Dangerous! The ship is falling! Kiwi, Fletch, the ship is falling! Uh, it's too late now, we have to go! Oh, all right, where do we go? And she she runs after you. Let's get let's get to the deck. Okay. What about Irma? I get the feeling Irma can take care of herself. Now let's go. Oh, typical you, Fletch. All right, fine. Let's go. And she runs. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, task. I'm playing you... my role. <laughs> task and actually I'll do panic your turn at the same time. Panic, you were like. You are clinging on for dear life. Uh, Task, you also, you can't even see the ground. It, you are so high up at the moment and you are being swung around like like a carnival ride um, as the snake flies around. Oh God, this shit again. Uh, but do, you do, do, I, you do, do see I, each other. You do see okay. each other. I, I scream over to Task, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Did something come to you and say you were distressed? Yeah. Then let this ride! Sure. <laughs> and like, as you say that, the snake just like turns its head completely upside down to look at you. And it's like, everything will be fine. Just hold on, okay? I've had the I'm rough week. trying! <laughs> ah, okay, now it's his turn. You hear uh, Borky as the door is let out and you walk out onto the deck. You hear Captain Bladefoot yelling and screaming orders to his men. You do notice now some of the serpentine creatures crashing onto the deck of the ship, blood spraying across the wood um, as they begin oh. to shoot some of them down. And as he's barking orders, you see him immediately get just snatched off the deck by one and just disappear into the clouds. Oh. You see man after man after man grabbed and the serpentine creature that's with you is just like, uh, please follow me, orderly fashion, please. Uh, okay, Borky grabs Starlight by the hand. I got a plus one, is, is that okay? <laughs> that is fine. And they walk okay, up- Don't read too much They anyway. walk up to the edge <laughs> of the ship and the serpentine creature turns back and goes, just jump off, okay? Just jump, you will be fine. Okay. Borky turns to Starlight. All right, um, the, dra the, the, dra the snake, the flying snake says we need to jump off the side of the what? ship. What? <laughs> All right, sorry, Bork Borky grabs her <gasps> and suplexes oh, her. Oh no, you tossed her. Ship. Okay. 
Okay, no, Borky grabs her and he, he like, suplexes off the ship. Okay, you grab Starlight and she, like, makes, like, a noise, like, ah! And then you just jump off the side and, as you do, the serpenty creature follows you, kind of does a nosedive and it coils around both you and Starlight and you are kind of, like, put together, like, a sandwich a little bit. Um, or a burrito, I guess, would be the better term. <laughs> burrito. Yeah. Um, and Scarlet is just like, ah, like she's really not too comfortable with the situation. Um, and then you begin to see, as you guys are falling, more and more actors jumping off, and you see now the ship is beginning to wane and tilt forward, almost losing its sense of staying aloft. The wings aren't moving in an orderly fashion. It's beginning to actually flip forward. Um, and as you are flying off, I want panic. I want you to roll a perception check. Okay. Let me just grab my sheet here. Okay. You're too calm for this song. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that is a seven. A seven. Oh, you don't see it. Um, uh, do I want, no, no one else can roll for this. I won't let it happen. Um, you guys watch as the ship is just bombarded with these snake-like creatures. It's just coated and covered. They're ripping off pieces of the wood. They're destroying the hull. Um, you see Greckles as, uh, where are you? Where were you? You were running. I'm headed to the deck. deck. Yeah, you're feeling the thing slanting now and like going up the stairs is like you have to actually manually like climb up the side. I actually want you to roll an acrobatics check. Hell actually, yeah. yeah, 18. 18, yeah, you managed to do it quite fine. I'm gonna roll for poor. No, poor I want I, I want to try and save Kiwi. Okay, oh, Margo. Margo slips and falls and she crashes down uh, down the stairs. And as she like gets up to go, you just see one of the snake creatures, just like something out of a horror movie, just grab her and drags her away. Oh. And she lets out a blood curdling scream. Oh, poor Margo. And, and, and what a twist. This is, oh my God, this is such a twist. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I went to zero to a hundred pretty quick. Uh, Kiwi, as he sees that happen, slowly turns up to you like with these giant terrified eyes. Fletch. If we don't make it out of this, I just want to let you know, you're my best friend. You're my best mate, Kiwi. Come on. I want to take him by the hand and just drag him if I can. I want All to right. save this bird, damn it. Uh, you make it up to, you reach the actual deck of the ship now, and you see Scarlet on the edge of it grabbing on. Dad! Like, screaming over and over again, like, crying and calling. I'm going to go, I'm going to, Kiwi, we got to help her. I... All right, I want to live too, Fletch. I want to live. He runs over reluctantly with you. Oh, oh, it's you. Have you seen my dad? I, I don't know, but I, I think he's safe. Just, just hang on. I am just going to be actively scanning, looking for any of these things to, to, to talk to me or react to me or anything. Uh, you watch as one kind of dips in the clouds, comes up, and just <laughs> lands on the deck. I immediately take a knee. Okay. Oh, yes, you. And they just immediately grab you. And then another one comes by and grabs uh, Kiwi with its mouth. You get wrapped up. Uh, Kiwi gets grabbed brutally with the mouth. Mm -hmm. And Scarlet, too, gets grabbed by another one. And by the basically the back of her clothes. And she starts screaming and kicking and wailing as you guys are basically driven off the edge of the boat and now are flying through the air aloft with these very strange creatures. You hear in the clouds screams. People are just screaming. Pirates are screaming. The actors are screaming. Um, you see Captain Bladefoot also screaming. And then you hear a giant booming noise, like a gong. And you watch as the clouds are dispelled around the ship. And you watch as this beautiful vessel begins to tilt and you hear the snapping of wood and the cracking of metal as it begins to fall into pieces, as all of these winged creatures come and just like termites begin to rip pieces off, old curtains, portholes, and you see a huge crack. And Greco's, you watch as that engine, that giant crystal plummets out of the ship mm -hmm. and crashes into the ocean. You see a flicker of arcane energy as the entire ship turns on its side and then plummets into the water. You hear a crack and snap, sound of waves rushing over and you feel a chill in the air as everyone watches in silence as the ship is brought down to the sea destroyed 
I, I'm going to turn to my snake. And I'm going to be like, did, did you get everyone off? The snake looks up to task snake, and that snake looks up to another snake, and it just keeps going. <laughs> it's like a weird game of you assume telephone. Um, and the snake eventually turns back to you and goes, the ones that matter. And they begin to fly with oh, you. Oh, no! And so, like, all, all the actors and everyone in the cell, they're safe. The ones who have been brought into this mess are safe. Those not so innocent may have been lost. Oh, damn. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm guessing, it, where, where is Borky right now? You I'm are curious. currently wrapped up with Scarlet, who is just like, oh, it's just a bad dream. Oh, it's just a bad dream. Uh, and your, snake is, just, out, your snake is just flying you around. It's, it's... Oh. Is Borky still like back? Like he's still mid suplex with her. Uh, yes, he just he's just lying on his back with his, his arms wrapped around her. By the way, sorry for doing that, Starlight. I didn't know what to do, and if I don't know what to do, I just suplex the problem, and I feel like that worked out for us. Are you okay? I'm having a long week. I'm. Oh yeah. Uh, and your your snake Borky that's got you and Starlight kind of leans down and kind of just looks you guys both over, and then just goes back to flying. Like okay, children are good. This keeps flying. Um, how's Kiwi doing in the snake mouth? He is screaming loudly. His little beak is right open. He's just like, ah! Like, just, he's a mixture of terror and pain, you feel. Okay, but he's not being, like, eaten or anything. No, he's not being consumed. Okay. He's, he's just kicking uh, around Kiwi, and freaking out. Kiwi, just calm down. Ah! He's just screaming. Sorry, that's I'm gonna, a loud. I'm going to turn back to my snake. Uh, children, did you get the children? What's a children? Oh no! Small, Damn it. small people. You are all small people. Oh Goodbye. no! Very small people. Gnomes. <laughs> Just keep babies. It tiny, tiny ones. I I don't recall, and they shake their head. They don't don't seem to understand. If they had shoulders, if they had shoulders, they shrug. <laughs> panic, panic goes a little a pale at that. What's a child? Oh no. He's just be like, just take us where you're taking us. And they begin to fly, and what feels like hours pass. You're very uncomfortable, especially you, Borky. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a little, it gets a little awkward after a bit. This is the, this is the longest suplex I've ever done. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of you, Borky. Uh, tell me again about the hag that you suplexed, you know, for the, the, th the third time. Oh, you see, it was like 10 miles high. I, Tass, uh, <laughs> I, I want to actually have Tess, like, talk to this thing for, yeah, a, for sure. a while the time's going on. So, obviously, I'm going to assume that whatever questions we have will be answered where we're going, but I'm more interested in knowing about, well, what you are and what's going on. The snake looks down, completely upside down, looks at you. We are storm quaddles. We are commanded by Stormbeard, the rune caller. Oh, yeah. And for what reason was it that you were told to just pluck us out and actually give us quarter before actually just kidnapping us? We were to ensure that the pirate captain known as Bladefoot kept his end of the bargain in the most appropriate ways. Seeing you in distress tells us that he lied, and so his ship is forfeit. Jesus. We apologize that you've been wrapped up in this mess. You hear like a tiny chuckle like, <laughs> that was good. But. God damn it. Uh -huh. <laughs> sorry. But be assured now, we will see you safely to the shores of the Runestone. I'm going to assume this has something to do with your master wanting a show, yes? Yeah. Very well. As long as we're given safe passage back to where we all came from once this is over. It will be interesting to see how the conversation proceeds. I can make no guarantee, but the nature of my master is not that of 
well there master and it kind of turns an eye towards a pirate who's currently being like dragged upside down by his leg and you can see all the blood rushing to his head oh, he looks like he's ready to pass out like he's just like Aah. it's the sweet roll guy he's not having a good day oh no <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, he's hyperglycemic actually, so this is a problem, oh, no. guys. Tash just like sighs and goes, Well, as long as you're being very diplomatic about it, I'll see where this goes without question. That's, that is up to our master. And you watch now as through the clouds breaking, you see a not a huge island, but a decent sized, like tiny little island. And on it is this large set of rocks. It's like a spire coming up. And at the top of it is this smooth carved rune stone that is emanating with a white and blue arcane glow. It is almost like the sun with how bright this thing is. And you see basically what looks like the inlets of a base, like a building. Um, you see where foundations lie. Uh, you see steps, giant steps leading up to the rune stone. And as you fly, all the quaddles bring down the actors and drop them on one side as the pirates are dropped on the other. Um, and the first one who is going to be led, let me find the... Oh, Greckles, you're the first one. Uh, hey. Greckles, you are flown in and gently, like, they come in for a flying landing and you hear your quaddle go, uh, begin to run, please, with your legs. I'm as gonna you... book it! All right, you start running with your little legs and as you run, you hit the ground and then it lets go of you and you just keep running forward and you stop. Like you're on the ground and it just cool. flies off and into the runestone, the actual glow of the runestone and disappears. I'm actually going to like super deep bow to it as a, uh, after I'm able to stop. Okay. Task, you are next. Uh, Koala does the same thing. Uh, begin to run, please. Running motion. All right. You start to like, you're like, huh, you half run. And then you see the ground just fastly approach and your quaddle dives down. I want you to roll an acrobatics check. Can do. By the way, what happened to poor Kiwi? You don't know yet. <laughs> oh no! Okay. 17. You, you like, when the ground starts, to be like, oh, that's what they mean. And you start to run, and once again, you hit the ground, and you run, and you you kind of crash into Greckles, but you don't hurt him. Ah! Oh, Panic. fancy meeting you here. Oh, Panic, you are friend. next. Okay. You, you see the ground vast approaching. Uh, begin running, please. Okay, I, I begin running. Okay, uh, I need you to roll an acrobatics check as well. Okay, acrobatics 14. Okay, yeah, you come in for a running land. You almost, you kind of stagger to your knees a little bit, but you manage to not hurt your your knees. Uh, Borky, your quaddle uh, flies, <laughs> seeing you guys kind of like in a really weird position. Like if quaddle could be like, oh Jesus, it would. Um, it flies in and actually stops and hovers like a helicopter, like trying to figure out how to drop the payload. And it's just like hovering oh. in place. And then just gently lowers you in the starlight and then lets you go. And then flies off into the runestone and disappears. B Borky. And Borky slides starlight off. Off his shoulder. Off, off the top of his thank, shoulder. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, and thank head, you. Thank you. And her, head, and her head lightly touches the ground. Boink. Suplex. And Borky tosses her to the thank side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, hi, right, guys. What's up? Well, oh, being oh. being snatched away by Kawadalus, as they call themselves, everything seems pretty good. Wait, wait. All right, guys, where, where, that was crazy. Uh, you guys that watch as more and more Kawadalus sweep in and drop off every single performer, every single actor. Um, Pitch actually gets dropped off, too. Um, and he's also with the other performers as well. Um, and then you watch as everybody else is kind of being dumped on a little solo island um off of the main island um the pirates are being dropped there and they're not being dropped nicely uh they're just being like flick and dumped onto the island crashing into each other you're swearing and yelling um and you see everybody roll perception i think i'm going to take up smoking after this <laughs> Ooh, 21 so 14. all right uh, uh where is my perception and 17 13. 13. uh borky you see scarlet just tossed onto that island that little island and greckles you watch as poor kiwi the entire time screaming oh. his koala is not having a good time with the fanfare um and he just like just full on like like slam dunk kobe just boom dumps him on the <laughs> island uh, and you hear a resounding crack and he's just lying there 
and then just rolls over on his side and is just like, uh, uh, fucking far, Android 16 him. Like about <laughs> 50, <laughs> about 50 feet out into the water, and there there is a break of water, and you actually watch as one of the pirates like tries to go into the water, and something just snaps up and bites him, and he just scrambles back to shore. Like, oh no, jeez. And as everyone kind of lands, everyone is kind of accounted for. You watch as even uh, Starlight is like taking account, like, okay, there's Maxwell. There's like, she's she's kind of getting it. It's like, everybody get out okay. And everyone kind of nods, like they're okay. And their instruments are okay too. Um, Tess yeah. smiles and like nudges uh, Greckles to the side and looks to everyone else. Well, boys, get ready for a little bit of justice to take fold because apparently our snake friends here uh, found out that we weren't treated so nicely coming on board. Oh, did, oh, well, I mean, that's fair, I guess. Did you guys not get the nice fancy room? Oh, Borky. What? No, yo, you guys didn't get the fancy room. Oh, I did. See? Yeah. Anyways. A little weird, though, that they are kind of splintering us apart, and they knew that the four of us were put together. Well, you're with the actors, too. Oh, we are with the actors? Okay, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, all, it's basically pirates and actors now. Oh, okay, okay. You guys are being split up in that way. Um, and Silly question, where's, where's Panic's guitar? He has it's it back. Yeah, he I, still, I still have it on me. Yep, he's got it. Oh. And then you hear giant footfalls. Boom. Boom. Okay. Boom. Real, real slow, quick. Slow turnaround? Slow turnaround? Uh-huh. Um... Yeah, is it question? Is it coming from in front or behind us? It's coming from where the runestone is, um, which is okay. up, up, literally like up a bunch of stairs. Okay, Monty, you know, you know that super deep bow when they're on their knees and it's like the hands are like yeah, yeah, parallel yeah. to each other. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, you immediately get down on your hand and knees, and some of the actors are like, "What the hell is he doing?" Okay, whatever. Um, he does that. And you hear footfalls, heavy footsteps, boom, boom. And then you hear bells, church bells, like five or six of them ringing in unison. And you see rounding the corner of this giant peak, a massive 25 foot tall giant with a large beard and interwoven in the braids of the beard are church bells and seafaring bells. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. He's he's got hair. He's not wearing anything on his head. He's got hair, um, white, crisp white hair, like the white water. And you see, flowing down his back is a cape made out of blue dragon scales. And he's got a skirt of blue dragon scales with inlay spikes made out of the back spines of the dragon. You know that task when you see it. Um, he's also Somewhat wearing- cathartic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's wearing a chest plate and armor that's built up of the holes of what look like ships, like battleships that were armored with iron and steel. He's Jeez. wearing that in his armor and he just strides down. And one of the coaddles, like almost like a fly to him, flies up to him and, and waves in place and he dismisses it and it flies up into the room, uh, into the rune stone, like a, a insect to a bug light and it just disappears. And then like a light switch being flicked off, whew, the rune stone turns back into stone. The glow stops and you see the inlay carvings now. Boom, boom. He strides forward. He doesn't pay you too much mind. Bring forth the one known as Captain Bladefoot. And his voice uh -oh. echoes across the water and even ripples the water. I just want everyone from the Unexpectables to just go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's, got, everyone's got to look. Everyone's just got to look at him. Oh, this is not good. And you watch as, like, it's so hard to describe. You watch as coming from out of the water onto that little island a giant swarm of crabs of various different sizes comes out of the water, kind of like engulfs all the pirates and they start screaming. And poor Kiwi is just like, ah, he's crying. He's just covered with crabs and disappears under it. And then eventually the crabs kind of go over the entire group of pirates, go into the water and they reemerge on your guys' island and conveyor belt and essentially dump 
Captain Bladefoot in front of the giant. (laughs) All the crabs encircle him and begin to snip their claws in in unison. (laughs) Yeah! Dude, I'm I'm just, I can just see West Side Story crabs now. (laughs) Yeah, and actually, Panic, as you're watching this, one of the crabs scuttles up to you and looks up to you with its little beady eye stalks. (gasps) It just looks up at you. Uh, Roll roll an intelligence check. Intelligence. There you go. With advantage. 20. Okay. Uh, This is the crab you took the knife from when you were visiting the Northlanders. Oh, hey. Oh, no. How's it going, buddy? He he snips up his his snippers really high and, like, like almost excitedly, like, hooray. I I kneel down and I I put my fist out to to claw bump him. Okay. Uh, let me grab stats for my crab. Uh, real quick here. <laughs> He's gonna roll a strength. Are, 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 are you are you lost in Gobble? Are, are you are you tranquilioing with the freaking crab? Is it? I know I had it tabbed before, but now Los ingobernables. Okay, here we go. Day. Yeah. Ale. Ale. Vast. Vast. Okay. <laughs> does a does a seventeen hit you? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. This is not much damage. This is not going to hurt you. He gives you, he gives you a wee pinch. Yeah, he gives you a wee pinch. You take one point of damage. Ow. <laughs> I pinch. Ow. Ow. I want to pinch. Uh, and you watch as the the storm giant like leans over, and you see Captain Blayford. He grabs a sword, and the storm giant just flicks it out of his hand. It goes flying and just <laughs> into the water. And- <laughs> And he just grabs him, like, by the his entire body, just grabs him. This is a big giant. Like, he, storm giants are huge, but this guy is even bigger. Oh, he Panic's him, enjoying this. He, he's going to take a seat on the ground and watch. He begins to walk up, and as he does, your little crab friend runs up to the giant and, like, runs up to the giant's foot, which is just massive, and just starts hitting him on the foot. <laughs> and, and, he, and the storm giant saw him and goes, What is it, Crabius the Mighty? <laughs> <laughs> And the crab like waves its, its its claws and then points a claw at you. And the storm giant looks down at this tiny little crab and then looks up to you. Yes. And the crab begins to wave its arms excitedly and then like does like a bunch of weird like snipping no- motions like charades <laughs> and like goes in a full circle, kind of dances around in a circle and then looks back up to the giant. I see. I will keep that in mind. And he keeps oh, going up. Oh, no. You planned this. You planned the seed from the beginning, didn't you? Well, I mean, the crab couldn't go anywhere. It's a crab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quote that shit. Quote that shit. A crab can go anywhere. It's a crab. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Nature's. Why didn't Elon Musk shoot a crab into space? <laughs> don't panic. It has no panic staple in the back of its carapace. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as the storm giant just boom, boom, walks up the steps, uh, Crabius, as he's now known, skitters back to you and just like sits down on a rock next to you and just snips its like claws together, like kind of like a kid fidgeting Bork. at like a waiting room, like swinging its legs. Borky Bork to panic. I have no idea what's going on to you. I think I just made a new friend. Oh, congratulations. Spleen's <laughs> back. You know. Crabby, it's the mighty. It looks up to you with its eye stalks. Like, it doesn't, like, move its body. The eye stalks just shift and turn and look to you. <laughs> I think we're going to get along just fine. It snips excitedly. <laughs> I pull up my guitar and I start playing a little ditty. All right, you play a little ditty. Um, and you just hear just groans and pain and just lamenting from that little tiny off island off of the main island as the pirates are all like kicking the water and you do see things popping out and like going to bite at them. Um, you see almost like a mouth. Uh, if anybody wants to roll a knowledge nature to attempt to identify what that is. Sure thing. That's uh, a, it's a 19. 19. Okay. No, I still know jack shit about the ocean, which you is were- dramatic. Makes sense. No. Oh, okay. Uh, that's uh, a zero. That's a zero. Twelve. Mm. Twelve. Okay. Uh, Greckles actually, honestly, these rolls make a lot of sense for you guys' history. Um, Greckles, mm-hmm. it's a dolphin. Like really oh. mean dolphins. Oh. <laughs> Do they have scars on their eyes? Uh, yeah. 
Oh, uh, no. Lorky, to you, they're the sharks. Best. These are absolutely what sharks look like, and oh my god, are they- Oh my god, it's really- it's really shin- thin, sharp sharks. Can I- can I- can I- can I do a perception check for poor Kiwi? Uh, yeah, you can. Poor they're Kiwi. really far away, but you can. Uh, 15. He's just quietly accepting his fate, just on his side, just- he's- he's a little overwhelmed at the moment. This is my life now. This is my life now, yeah. Uh, you also do notice, uh, Scarlet, actually. And the other kids are kind of like, kind of secluded themselves to one corner of the island, and they're avoiding the dolphins as well. The Noel kid is actually like snapping back at the dolphins. Oh no! <laughs> like he's just snarling and biting while the rest of them are all kind of hugging. Oh no! Each other. I want, I wanted to go on the record. I tried to save Kiwi. I didn't abandon him. No, no, you tried, but he's a pirate. He's a pirate. Uh, I'm gonna turn to Crabius the Mighty, and I'm gonna, t I'm gonna say, uh, hey, did you, did you see a? A small girl looked like me, but red on that island over there. His eye stalks like go side, like go down and up, down and up, down and up, and you assume that means yes. <laughs> Somehow. Could you talk to your crab buddies and maybe bring her here? He turns his claw, and taps his carapace as if in thought, and looks back up to you. I will play you another special song. Roll a pers uh, persuasion check with advantage. Oh. 17. Okay. Oh my god, we're negotiating with Crabius. Crabius snips his claws excitedly. Excuse me, he is our ambassador to the Ocean Kingdom, and you will show him with the <laughs> utmost respect, and when we get his back to the sweet dragon, he's getting all the diplomatic immunity, getting the best room in the house. <laughs> Better keep Ty away from him, though. <laughs> Ty, uh, I swear to god, if you touch Crabius, I will knife your fucking hand off. Uh, Crabius... Snips his claws together excitedly and then sits down on a rock and waits for you. Oh, I'm gonna play it now then. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay, so Panic uh, tunes his guitar because he, imag he imagines it's been mishandled. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, he's it's... gonna uh, tune his guitar and he's gonna. I've got the big bag of crabs here. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in my mouth. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna run around the town on the market day. Everyone will look at me and say, I've got a mouth full of the crabs. As you sing this song, more and more crabs and like other weird sea creatures begin to emerge from the water. Um, yeah, even starfish and stuff. And they begin to kind of come around <laughs> you and like giant crabs come out. And like there's one lobster that just shows up for some reason, but it's mostly crabs. Um, <laughs> And they all snip in enthusiasm, and then Crabius turns to them all and begins to snip back, and they all snip back, and there's some oh. weird conversation going on. It's uh, just the, a the comedy lot... of clacking. Yeah, there's like a lot of. Uh, um, and then the sounds lobsters... like a knuckle server in here. Oh my god. <laughs> the um, the lobster snaps, and then all the crabs stop snapping and look to the lobster, and the lobster just slowly stops snapping its claws and backs off uh and then they go back to clacking their claws together and then eventually they all go back into the ocean and uh there's some kerfuffle over on the island and then eventually the kids are ferried over and are dumped in front of you and scarlet dusts off her clothes she's wet she's soaking wet she goes dad and she gives you a big hug oh thank goodness Wait, you're what? all right oh my god Penny, you never told us uh well, Tat. oh, go ahead. Mm, mm, mm. I guess he's going to whisper over to Borky. I, I don't think she's actually my daughter. Are you sure? She, she, but, but I mean, this, are you sure? Uh, on, I mean, honestly, I have no idea. What? But. Oh, are you okay? Oh. Scarlet looks back and she goes, oh, Yeah, we are, sweetie. Are, are, you, are you okay? <laughs> you've, you? been, you've been. Oh, these are my friends. Oh, I'm Uncle Borky. Oh, hi. Uncle She's Borky. Not... I'm a fun uncle. Call me Funkle Borky. Okay. <laughs> um, at this at this time, I'm actually gonna start taking off the mask, the um cloak and whatnot, just to get back in regular clothing. Okay. Task will uh head over to the kids and just like looks at them. Are all of you okay? The null kid is like, <laughs> like he's like snarling like at the crabs and some of them are snipping at him and he's just like he like grabs one of the crabs and rips the claw off and all the crabs scatter. Oh like, god! Ta task task will like grab him by the shoulder and pat him on the head. No 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 no! It's okay it's okay. Give give holds the holds his hand under his mouth. Give. 
<laughs> he just snarls, like bares his teeth and just crunches down on the shell and you see like liquid begin to spill out from his lips. I like him. We could put him in a fight pit. He'd do really well there, Task. Forky, no. What? What about the other kids? Are they okay? Yeah, they're okay. You don't see Sky though. Um, ha! Good! Yeah, you don't see Sky. Uh, you see the little uh, half-elf girl. Uh, you see the orc. Uh, Scarlet, of course, and the Null kid. Those are the four that you see. Ah, uh, good. Okay. Everyone who matters is here. Um, and oh, little kiwi. elf. Kiwi, yes. Did you ask for Kiwi to be brought over, or? No, you um, just asked I, for the kids. I, it was Panic. Panic who ordered them. Yeah. I mean, I can't communicate with these crabs, so. <laughs> these crabs. If only. Um. Um. I, 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 I panic. Hmm. I know this might be going against what the storm giant may want, but do you think they could get Kiwi? He, he is the, he is the reason that I'm still here and we were able to get around. Mm. I look over to, I look over to Krabby is the mighty. Krabius the Mighty's gone, actually. He, oh, he, no! He, he, oh. he fled with the Null Kid ripped off his best friend's arm. Usually I'm that's so... a good signal to leave. <laughs> I didn't even get to say goodbye. Uh, to I, I don't think... I late. think that's a no-go, uh... Greckles. Ah, oh, poor Kiwi. Well, let's figure out where this is going. Tass looks up to... Hey, you knew him for a day. I knew him for two days. And he, he was me be and he was me best mate. I'm sorry, what did you just say? <laughs> uh, I thought that was Remy. <laughs> what? Oh my god, okay, let's just move on, jeez. Uh, <laughs> you do notice Tass, the little half-elf girl, is currently like standing kind of by her by herself at the footsteps of the first step leading up to that rune stone. She's just looking up. And she turns over to you and she goes, they're talking. Can you understand what's going on? Can you hear them? Mm, she sits down on the ground, just like a kid would. And she starts to kind of fidget with some rocks and some shells on the shore. I don't know. You're very calm about this. <laughs> Am I? Well... I'll put it this way, you're very brave about all of what's going on with this demeanor you have. The captain got in trouble. He wanted to make this place his new base. And then the giant came and said he broke something. I think it's because there's someone sleeping here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, well, what's gonna happen to the captain and everyone else down there? I don't know. Well, count your blessings that you're not among them. She just sits down, she looks up to the runestone. And hours pass. The sun begins to set. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, I guess this is a good time to start looking for food. I assume we don't have any rations on us. Nope, you guys don't have any food. Hmm. And what about my sweet rolls? You do have. So what, what is this? Soggy. What is this? What is? Sorry, quick question. What is the storm giant doing right now? He is gone. He took Captain Bladefoot up to the Rune Stone, and they have not been back. Oh. Okay. So they assumedly right. they're talking at the moment on this tiny little island. <clears throat> or, he's, or, he's probably... dead as, or he's dead as shit. <laughs> hey, Task. We should probably get a fire going. Do we have anything? That, well, all I have is this short bow. That we could probably use for tinder. Is there is, is there anything around like driftwood or? Anything? Uh, roll a survival check. I will do so as well. Sixteen. Fifteen. Uh, are there any trees? Are there any? No, there are no trees. It's actually just stone. Um, there are like um, like Celtic sigils and things like that, like Celtic looking sigils. Um, but you get the sense you probably shouldn't touch that. That seems like a bad idea. Um, you guys managed to find some driftwood. There's not a lot, but it's enough to get a fire going and at least warm some people up because the with the water now rushing on the coast, so too is the wind. Mm -hmm. And it is getting cold now, so it is definitely uh, not too, too comfortable. Mm -hmm. So let's get that fire going. Yep, yep. 
And I think this is a good plan for us to take a bio break if you guys want to take a bio break. Yeah, yeah. I need a quick bite. Real quick. Alrighty. One sec. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the bits and all the subs that were dropping during that, guys. Thank you so much for all the kindness. Hope you guys are enjoying the unexpectables tonight. Let's just say that, uh, whew, wasn't expecting what happened, and that was kind of crazy. Yeah. It was quite, uh,. That was intense. That was a, uh, that was intense. I hopefully it was clarified. I whenever it gets intense like that, it's kind of hard to explain everything, especially since it was already pretty chaotic, and also it's kind of oh. hard to explain chaotic yeah. things. Then it's Pl not, yeah. Plasma Plasma Sonic Boom, fifteen hundred bits. Hey guys, just catching the stream live for the first time. Normally I catch the VOD in the morning. I was it's three. It was three a.m. here in the UK. Normally I would be at work till seven. I cut my finger open and got back from A and E. I j uh, ooh, Andy, just in time for the stream. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much, Plasma. Man, but uh, you doing? I'm doing okay. <laughs> What's up? Tiddly Winks was my mother. Which was my mother. Ah, daughter of Tiddlywinks. Uh, 500 bits from PM Ghost. Oh, which pine pet would Panic have? A rock lobster or a fiddler crab? Ooh, that that's a great... That's a smart question. Thank you for the 500 bits, Ghost. And Arapan, 500 bits and change. Thank you so much. Eat up, Tarsk. You hungry, hungry bit boy. By the by, oh, oh, oh just, just, just real quick. I might like uh, my my friends are in the bathroom right now, and I don't know how long they're gonna take, so I might have to do an emergency out of nowhere. Okay. Oh, Taco Fox, one hundred bits and change. Thank you, Taco. I said in your last stream, live crabs scare me. Look where we are now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was getting, I was getting well, Pirates of the Caribbean. Welcome to heck. I really, this is so lame, but I actually really want to go crabbing one day. You want to go crabbing today? Yeah, like out, like in, like in the ocean, just drop oh, so some crab pots right, still, and uh, just, just, uh, just, okay. We're, we're gonna, we're, we'll just pool our resources and we'll buy a shack somewhere. Oh on Vancouver yeah, yeah, Island. Okay, yeah. So you just want to do deadliest catch? No, I don't want to do deadliest catch. I just want to catch some crabs. I want it to be a show with a bunch of dads called the Dadliest Catch. <laughs> deadliest catch. Well done. Well, someone give Thank that you. case permission. She's a good egg. Sam Everett, thank you so much for the two month resub. Oh, you guys having fun so far? Absolutely. Yeah, 500 bits from Snuggy Bum 5. Shout out to my little brother, home in Norway. Hi, OJ. Thunder King, 5,000 bits. Here, take all my bits. Well, Thunder King, we'll, we're more than happy to take all those bits. Feed the cake to the best boy, Thunder King 8. Thank you so much for your support. Guys, Nutcase is bullying me. She's uh, not. Nutcase, no bully, Nutcase. Well, well, no Moobot or Nightbot just bullied her back. So. <laughs> Thunder King eight. This a crazy amount of bits. Thank you so much, JTF. One hundred bits. Has Tarask been chasing Tass this whole time since he blew the whistle? We don't know. Penguin Master O nine one three. One hundred bits for Krabius the Mighty. All hail Krabius the Mighty. He is powerful. <laughs> oh, poor Kiwi. What's up? No, Nutcase, Nutcase is bullying me, saying, like, you didn't even try to save him. I'm like, I explicitly said that I was trying to save Kiwi. And now there's three <laughs> not... there's three images of Kiwi being like, he didn't even try. And I'm like, no, Nutcase, stop bullying me. <laughs> Propaganda. Is everybody back? BFC? Everyone, every no, bird no that yet. enters your no? life. Every, everyone's bird, every bird that enters your life leaves. All right, Rackles, I'm have back. You Wow, Taka, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna draw, kick your nuts, see how you like that. Ow. Fight, so, fight, I, well, I'm back, but I also want to apologize to fight. Austin because I found out that something was kind of crinkling in the background, and I, I want to apologize. I took care of the problem. Now, it might show up, but only slightly. Okay. Okay. All right. No, we're good to take it away. Today? I think we're good to take it away. You guys, sit down. Um, I want you guys, everybody, roll a survival check again. Just for oh, my amusement. A There's twenty-two. Five. Nineteen. Uh do you guys like was... full on survivor style like task fifteen? Well I mean task... here's the here's here's the thing. I could go into the ocean and hand pick food if I need. 
<laughs> yeah, because you have the manta ray cloak. Uh -huh. uh, between you and Tass, you guys manage to spear a few like fish, and you guys do like the whole anime thing of cooking it over the fire on a stick. That's um, not anime. That's just regular life. That is. That is true. That is true. Um, you guys manage to kind of cook up a meal, um, feed the kids first. I'm assuming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then you guys eat, and then there's like kind of just a bite for everyone to go around with the entire opera company. Uh, also needing some food, but you guys managed to make it kind of work out. It kind of becomes an, an impromptu like camp out with friends as people are kind of joking. A few of the musicians, like one one dwarf with a trumpet, just starts kind of play this really somber, almost jazzy tune while you guys are eating fish around the camp. Well, I, 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 I assume I assume that I explained to everyone that like we're in the clear. We just have to figure out what the giant wants to do. But like, really, there's no ill will towards us. Yeah, no, no. Mm -hmm. at, at this point, like, you guys relay it. Scarlet manages to talk to everybody. The director manages to kind of lead everyone at this point. He is there as well. Uh, he's a elf uh, in a very nice sort of woolen suit. Um, and you see as you guys are eating on the fire uh, through the silhouette of the moon now rising, the poor pirates all sitting on that tiny little island are all just sitting forlorn, staring at you guys, having a good party and eating food. <laughs> are, 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 are the, can I see if the dolphins are still around? Oh yeah, you see them. You see the fins kind of peek out of the water, looming oh. like piranhas. I was uh, gonna big piranha. I was gonna go and try save kiwi, but nope, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, they like you tried to fish over that way, and those dolphins are not like either they the crabs are necessary for a reason. They they provide a protective shell as they ferry you around. Um, nice. Bor Bor Borky Borky yells, Mister Pitch. He's he's behind you. He was with the actors. Hi. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh! That's crazy, so you're not one of the bad eggs? Well, I mean, a man can lie, can't he? And he gives you a wink, and you oh. swear you see a little star appear. Ain't that the truth! <laughs> Borky shakes his hand. <laughs> Gross. And he, like, wipes it on a rock. <laughs> <at you. laughs> and he gently strokes his chihuahua. And he sits down on a rock. Bor wait, Borky stares at the chihuahua, licks his lips. Mr. Pitch, I've got an idea for you. You have a pitch for me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. What would you think about eating your dog? <laughs> oh, you do that and I would rip your head off. Borky's dejected for a sec. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> he says it so calmly too. Like it's not. That's even... what the Lord. That's what. That's what scared Borky. Oh. <laughs> and you well. guys are sitting around and eating, and you hear a boom, boom. Uh oh, boom. it's the biggest dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Well, more like biggest grandpa. He comes down. Oh no! Boom, boom, boom. And he just has, you hear muffled cries as he just chucks Captain Bladefoot into the water. Oh, and God. Thrashes and flails and scrambles onto the island as you watch one of the dolphins just grab his shoulder and try and drag it in, like whipping back and forth like a wolf. And he just manages to kick it off and crawls up onto the island. And everyone's like, oh, hi, Captain, oh, hi, Captain, oh, hi, Captain. And they're all hushed and whispered. And the storm giant walks up to the lot of you and looks down. So, uh, 90 degree bow. <laughs> Hmm. And he leans down and his face gets really close to Greckles and everybody else leans away from the storm giant as like you feel his breath mm. over your feathers. What, what does it what does it smell like? He smells like brine and like Ooh. seafood. Mm. He smells like the ocean. By God, he smells like wildwood boardwalk. <laughs> and he just everyone else is what? backed off and it's just literally Greckles and the storm giant. And he's just like looking over and he's still still low, still as respectful as humanly possible. Or Borky possible. said, "Borky says weakly and giant, because Borky can speak giant. This is Greckles. He shall speak for us. <laughs> <laughs> you are just fucking throwing me under the bus every chance you get. And Greckles, <laughs> Greckles will remember this ellipsis. Ah, <laughs> uh, the storm giant stands up and goes, "Yes, one from the eastern sea. Oh." Stand. You are in the presence of Stormbeard, the rune caller. Stand straight back up.
Oh. I, go ahead. He's cross armed. He's just staring down at you. Great Stormbeard, thank you for your help, first of all. Second of all, as we understand, you are still interested in the performance. Is that correct? Yes. I require a performance of this, your opera company. If you can give us food, shelter, and preparation time, we can give you a grand performance. He steps back and turns up to the stairs. He goes, you will set up your stage up here. I will provide you water and food. Thank you, great Stormbeard. Hey, uh, Greckles, another thing. How about getting us home? The storm giant turns and looks down to you, Task. Task will look up at him. Of course, we will honor the bargain of doing the opera, but we were plucked out of our homes under these circumstances. This deal of this performance is no longer that of the pirates. They have forfeited that right when they thought to steal you away from your home. Fair enough. The agreement now goes between us. And if I wish so, I would wish to send you back home right now. But this performance is not for me. For the oh. spirit that was roused and disturbed by the likes of a man like him. And he shoots out his finger and lightning blasts into the water. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> and all of the pirates just scream as the water fizzles with steam and erupts. Do all the dolphins oh. float up dead? Uh, the dolphins? Crabius, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, Crabius. No. <laughs> There's like a moment of silence and then just... A dolphin surfaces and bobs in the water. <laughs> Could I have that dolphin in giant? <laughs> the storm giant actually turns down and glares at you. And he okay. says to you back in giant, he goes, you would keep wise to keep your greed to yourself in this place. Borky, Borky just does two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And he steadies himself and leans up against one of the rocks. Getting you home I can do, and I am willing to do. This will be my payment for this opera. The rest of these, and he points to the pirates, will become servants to that which they've wronged. If you don't mind me asking, Stormbeard, what is this creature in particular? Creature? What is this spirit? His face turns kind of stone and aged. You ask many questions, small one. I would ju I just like to be prepared for what's to come, for the safety of myself and my allies. If you are curious, then follow me. And he begins to walk up the steps and turns back to look at you guys. I'll yeah. go. Task um, will yeah, go. I'm, I'm right. following. I'm oh, very God. curious. Oh. Uh, Scarlet, uh, not Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet follows. The rest of the kids stay behind. Uh, actually, no. Scarlet and the elf girl follow. I really should give her say her name. Um, you know what? You guys are hanging out. Her name's Lisa, uh, the half elf girl. Her name is right her name is Lisa. Um, Lisa. Lisa and Scarlet follow. Starlight also follows. Um, oh. And Pitch follows. Oh. Oh. Pitch. This is a. Pitch is just like, well, shit, I don't want to see what's going on. And he follows, and you guys make your way up the steps. You hear the howling wind streaking through the rocks. And you hear the sound of the ocean crashing against the shore. Ooh. And you see the reflection of the moon on the water. And the stars, vivid stars, painted across the sky. Nice. You guys step, clack, clack, clap. Up the steps. It's kind of hard. It's giant sized. Um, but you managed to make your way up. I climb. Yeah. Are these giant sized steps or regular sized steps? They are steps? giant sized steps, but there's like patches on the sides. You guys kind of walk up like a, a little bit like a dirt trail. But the nice steps uh, are, are his size. And he, he doesn't really wait for you. He just walks. There's like half respect there. He's willing to engage with you, but the, there's a sense of um, divide. Anybody who wants to roll knowledge 
history. Yes, ma'am. Yes, 20. 20. Wow, nice. Nah, no thanks, six. No. 16. You're, you lived in a mountain. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense, Ele though. I'm happy I'm getting these rolls. Mm -hmm. 11 D. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Greckles and Panic. Storm Giants tend to only really socialize if it's for making kids. Mm -hmm. uh, beyond that, they're very solitary. Uh, they have a range of, of personalities based off of this. Um, you've heard stories of storm giants being kind of boisterous. Um, you've heard stories of them being kind of reclusive. Um, you just get the sense he's just not used to people and he doesn't really want to deal with people, yet he's nice enough and he knows better to you know, be friendly. Like, he's not trying to be mean. It's just he's not used to it. Right. Um, socially awkward. Yeah, he's kind of... Not really, yeah, yeah. No, he's socially awkward. Just doesn't want to he just doesn't want to deal with this crap right now. No, he really does, doesn't. Does, does, does Starlight need help with the steps at all? Yeah, she does. She's kind of staggering a little bit. She's wearing, like, her performance outfit still. B B Borky holds her hand. <laughs> Thank he's you. Like, there you go. No problem. Why are you coming along? I'm curious to see why we must perform, and frankly, the director's a bit of a coward, so I might as well learn. Who is the director, exactly? Oh, the director. His name is Francis Beetleby. Hmm. Francis, Francis Deedledum, I say. Uh, Beetle. Forty nods. Beetleby. Beetle. Never mm -hmm. mind. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I, know this one, I know this one daughter called Professor Crumblebum. Oh, Rufus Crumblebum. Oh, wait. Or is it Bumblebee? Dang it! <laughs> okay, okay. So Rumble Rumble Bum. Moving on. <laughs> you, you hear Tash just groan. <sighs> Rumble fungus. I'm actually going... Greckles is going to take great interest in trying to read the body language or anything from Stormbeard. Okay, Stormbeard is moving, and with every time he sways side to side, all those bells in his beard just cling, 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 cling just like echo out in this beautiful chorus. You get the sense that he, he spends most of his time in the water, so these probably mm -hmm. don't make as much noise. So it kind of seems to be bothering him just a little bit, but he's willing to do it for the aesthetic. Um, but he strides up and you get the sense that he's old. Mm -hmm. um, roll an insight check. Ah, oh, damn it, eight. He's, you're looking up, you see up his nose. It's clean. Great, great. <laughs> oh man. It's like an enchanted no. forest in there. <laughs> Uh, but he walks, uh, he's definitely not like, he's not like checking to make sure he's not stepping on anyone. So it's wise to keep your distance, but he seems very focused at the moment of, at the task at hand. He is a uh, task. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so he's, he's very much like making his way up, but he's taking his time. And he seems, mm -hmm. yeah, can't really get much of a read on him because you can't really see him from your angle. Right. Mm. And like the ground shakes with every step he, he makes. And eventually, you guys reach the runestone. And from down below, it doesn't seem that big. This thing is huge. This thing mm. is bigger than um, uh, almost like five times the size as Liza's giant crystal. Mm. It's massive. It's this massive white stone with like this beautiful, clean carving inside of it. Um, and he steps up to it, and he touches it with his hand. His giant hand spreads his fingers across it. And it begins to low, like glow, like a forge, a white forge. You sense a little bit of warmth from it. Hmm. Guess she's keep on going. I don't want to interfere yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah, no, in, no interference. Just keep following them. You guys stand next to the rune stone. Uh, this is where all the quaddles flew in, and they're gone now. Um, and he's, he holds his hand to the rune stone, and he turns to you, and he goes, hold your breath. <gasps> and hold breath. he presses his hand into the rune stone. It begins to bellow out water, and the water caps at your feet. It begins to fill over you. And you guys are standing in kind of a black emptiness, and you feel the water rushing around you, and Stormbeard is just standing there. And the rune stone's there behind him, and he turns forward, and he looks to you, and he goes, "Now breathe." <sighs> kind of stupid, but okay. Here we go. <gasps> you breathe in, expecting horrible, horrible salt water to enter your lungs, but no, you can breathe. Well, all right then. 
I guess I didn't have much to worry about anyway, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, you're the only one who can kind of breathe. Uh, though, I think you guys have a potion of water breathing, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, let's open there. that Somewhere potion and, and why is it dispersing into the salt water? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. um, you appear to be in some sort of vision realm of some kind. Ooh. And Stormbeard crosses his arms and goes, Thousands of years ago, when I was but a young rune caller, I learned a valuable lesson. And you see a small coast town of humans oh. in the distance. We have but one simple job. We tend to the needs of the ocean as Uspa commands. We are not like our other storm giant brethren. Our purpose is grander. Foolishly, I made aid to a human village long, long ago. And in return, the humans thought to give me a sacrifice, to which I never asked. And you see just the endless sea, and you see a small form thrashing in the water. Oh. Mm. Oh, no. Had I known, I would never have helped. And you see rising up from the sea a big hand, his hand, of a younger Stormbeard lifting up the form. I was far too late. The waters had not drowned it, but the cold had killed it. Aspa granted me the small creature's final words, and I asked it what it wished for. And you see up close, it's almost a faceless form, forgotten to time. I asked it what it wished for in its final moments. It dreamed of large stone cities and to see the plays on the street side, to wear a beautiful gown, to see an opera. I did not know of these things, but I've learned of them since then. I buried that creature on this rune stone to remind myself to never meddle in the affair of the small folk. That is until the pirates came and carved into this holy land, disturbing the spirit which rests here. Now I wish to set that spirit at rest by granting it its final desire. And the water just drops like a bucket, like, and you guys are back on that mountain peak. If it were for me, I would send you home, but it is not for me. It's for her. He crosses his arms. A heartfelt yeah. request. Oh. Something Do that seems- pity me. And you see that you feel the waves crash against the coast as he kind of seems very like chuffed and angry. Merely laying a mistake to rest. If you'd be willing to do so. I believe we all would honorably. And then I will Starlight. send you home. Bor Borky <clears throat> looks to Borky looks to Starlight. Do you think everyone in the opera would want to do that, Starlight? I certainly think so. She looks up to Stormbeard and gives him a, like a nod. And Stormbeard kind of like hmm, nods back, and all the bells ring, and you just see Pitch on the ground like that's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> ah, 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 He's ah. just like crying and Aww. hugging his dog. Uh, is the do is the dog licking his tears, like trying to be? A good, no, like, the dog's dog? eyes are like bulging out, like those little like stress reliever toys. Like its eyes are popping out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he pulls out like a silk like handkerchief and like pats his eyes. Tomorrow at dawn, the show. It shall be done. Oh, well, Stormbeard, we have an accord. Were you going to say something, small one? Oh, no, we, I was just going to say it was honor. Whether or not you don't see it as honorable, I still believe it as such, and I feel we have an accord and can agree to all of this. Excellent. Tomorrow at dawn. He kind of chews you away with his hand. 
Like he like he goes to like leave, but he's like, what the hell am I doing? I live here. Yeah. You guys go. Get out of here. Go. Geek scamp. Get out of here. I guess uh, Bor Borky leads Starlight down by her hand again, because going down will be even harder. Yeah. And we're going to do a time jump here. Yay! To tomorrow. You guys get all your spell slots back. You guys are healed up, I think. I mean, you guys didn't take Hooray. damage. No. Um, I did. <laughs> Panic did. I will, I will say, Panic, do you want to talk to Scarlet? Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody else, you guys head to bed. Um, no real need to keep watch. You kind of got the best watchman ever of all time. Uh, keeping an eye on you up in his runestone tower thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Scarlet is kind of like chasing the kids around. They're kind of playing. Uh, one of the kids has like a crab claw, like the one that the Knoll kid had. And one of them's like wearing it like a mitten and going, I will destroy you! And like chasing each other. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Um, playing Crabius the Mighty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scarlet sees you and she kind of stops uh, being chased and she, she walks up to you and everybody else kind of goes to bed and sleeps with their instrument. There's one gnome who's just hugging his his trombone, like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Music nerds. The fart yeah. machine. <laughs> I said a trombone, not a, not a tuba. Ah, I see. The one gnome sleeping in his tuba. They're all <laughs> fart machines. <laughs> so, Scarlet. Hi. You met a giant. He's yeah, so I, I did. He is really big. Um, I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Where did you live before Bladefoot took you? Um... Uh, let me see if she remembers. I was I was really young at the time. Um, Palmerton. Pa. pa uh, it. She's trying to say. It's in my notes here. Par par Parleton. Periton. Periton, right? You mean Periton? I think so. It's been so long. She kind of sits down on a rock. Hmm. I think I know what that is. Do you miss your mother? Yeah. She kind of begins to fidget with like um, a rock in her hand, side to side. Roll an insight check. Let me grab it here real quick. 20. Modified. Uh, you get the sense that the mother's not in the picture anymore, and Scarlet might know that. Mm -mm. And she kind of just takes the rock and chucks it into the water, and it scatters across the ground and just poof into the water. She scoots over on a rock and she pats it. Well, Scarlet. Um, if you don't, if if you don't have anywhere to go back to, you can stay with us. Really? Yeah. But, um, I want to be honest with you. Okay. I don't think I'm your father. <sighs> she just sighs. She's just not upset. She just sighs and crosses her arm. She goes, Lisa was right. <laughs> yeah. But she doesn't know that. And it gives her a little wink. <laughs> But if you've got nowhere to go, I've got the place and can certainly stay there. And we can I take care of you there. I, I wouldn't mind. Um... Feed you, take care of you, play with your friends. Probably have more fun than you could ever have on old Bladefoot's ship. It kind of sucked. 
<laughs> yeah. Sure did. <laughs> well, hey now. I don't know. I had a good time. I had a grand old time. I learned about new technology. I got I had, shot. I had sweet rolls and learned that there are sky whales and I'm going to kill one one day. I got, I got shot twice. <laughs> Stop bragging. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of jumped the gun on that one. Well, it's all right. I just, I just saw you and I got so excited. I thought, finally, finally. But... Uh, how how old does Scarlet look, by the way? Like 10. 10, 12. Hmm. Well. I once told someone that life has no rules. And it isn't fair. So you've got to make it fair. And I'm hoping I can make your life a little bit more fair. Okay. But if my real dad comes. Yeah. Okay. She she gives you a hug. And call me panic. <laughs> yeah. Dad sounds a little. Mm. Panic. She kind of like walks, like thinking about it. Like, why is that a name? <laughs> it's ancient tiefling. Um, I can read common. Panic in common needs to freak out. <laughs> Does panic know that? I want yeah. to imagine he didn't. I want to imagine he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> just oh god just, just like the startling yeah. realization like shit is that what it means monty uh-huh would i know that <laughs> roll an intelligence check with disadvantage Ooh. with disadvantage Ooh. yeah for my amusement okay natural <laughs> one <laughs> Yeah. What? <laughs> no way, that's awesome! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Scarlet laughs and just walks, and then she goes to bed, and you guys all go to bed. And you sleep. <laughs> and you guys wake up! You have some kick butt breakfast, which includes fish. It's time to get okay. Oh, God. <laughs> it's time to get bulky. I am, I imagine the Null Kid howls in response with it. Oh, it oh my god, it's idiot in stereo. <laughs> uh, you guys all oh. wake up, and as you guys do, the actors, uh, the poor pirates are still on the other other end of the, on that island, um, and. The rest of the, the actors and whatnot at this point throughout the entire morning and the day um, as a collective, you guys set up a makeshift stage on a smooth bit of stone. The storm giant does help a little bit, but he doesn't seem to want to like be around you guys a whole lot. It's kind of <laughs> like you guys just do your, your thing, like kind of wave. And I, I imagine him kind of just like, it's like peering over a picket fence, just a little eye and a little bit of his head looking down <laughs> upon the small people. Like the fuck are they doing? Yeah, he's just kind of watching with like, it's like a like almost like a dad like this is like something for not him and it's like a dad trying to understand and being like i don't know what the heck's going on uh what are these Yu-Gi-Oh cards i can't i i can't unhear the storm giant having dad's voice i know i know, know. I, uh, oh. um but eventually you guys set up the stage and as it's kind of like everyone's beginning to get into place the the uh the orchestra is playing a draw like they're kind of practicing tuning their instrument one guy like plays his um he's playing like he's got a viola and he's like practicing with the viola and he's like huh and he just keeps practicing and then he just turns it and dumps out the water and he just kind of <laughs> hey hey money before before everything gets kind of crazy 
I would actually want to offer my services and my Oh, we're getting spells. to that. We're getting to oh, that. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh, I, I as you guys kind of like work, you help kind of set up the last bit of the stage, bring up the curtain. Uh, uh, yeah. You guys are kind of improvising. The giant's helping as much as he can. Um, Scarlet actually does approach the four of you and she goes, um, so good news and bad news. Okay. Scar you mean Scarlet or Starlight? Starlight. Sorry, Starlight. Starlight. It's again the oh, confused. Okay. Starlight, Always the drow. Sure. Um, she walks up. Yeah. So, so good news and bad news. Bad okay. news I first. Was... Um, oh, well, good, good it news means we first. don't have them. Is the bad news? Uh, okay. And the good news is, um, some of our actors actually didn't get captured. And the bad news is, we're gonna need someone to replace them. And she hands you guys, like, very reluctantly, hands you guys scripts. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh. Uh. What part am I reading? What part it's, it's, am I reading? It's just a minor part. It's, it's just yeah. one line for each of you. Okay, okay. Um, I am what? so down for this. Tass just looks at the pe at the parchment of paper and starts reading it and is confused all gown. Looks at Starlight with just complete confusion. He has no idea what the fuck. Like, so, going to the opera was the first time he ever experienced human performance. Okay, okay, what we'll do, and she points, she gets like kneels down to you and it's kind of offensive, she gets back up and she goes, what you do is you, you read that, okay? And then you go on stage and you say it, okay? And you pretend you're someone who you're not. Uh, Starlight, what are our characters? Oh, uh, uh, Task, uh, you are a soldier in the war. You're seen as first. Um, and then Panic, you are a, uh, um, a messenger who perchance hears the maiden song um and and borky you are a herald you you mm -hmm. you yell out and announce when people come in and and yeah. Reckles, you are a shop owner the cruel shop owner who actually is really mean to me so that's your role got it borky goes right up to Reckles. if you're mean to her i swear to god Borky, get out of my face! It, it's an act. It's an act. I'm a, I'm in your head. I'm in your head, Crackles. I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm gonna acrobatics away. <laughs> You're gonna cartwheel you away. Well? I just cartwheel away. I don't care. I don't give it. You guys know. You don't under, You don't understand. You don't understand. This. This def like. You don't know in character, but Greckles would just loves the opportunity to act. When you consider in his home, he had to sneak out in order to see no Kabuki, all of these other extravagantly produced acts. He's all about this. Okay. Um, as you as you cartwheel away, everyone gets into places, and you guys are rushed, and you guys are dressed oh. up. Uh, Task, oh. you are donned up in very fake armor. Uh, Panic, you <laughs> aren't changed at all. All right. Uh, <laughs> Greckles, your hat is removed, and you're given kind of like a shabby shirt. And oh, screw that. Wait, oh. how, long's, how long's the performance? They're starting right now, so you don't have time to go and get uh, something. Uh, I, um, no, 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 no. I, I got spells. Oh, right, I, yeah, you I, do. You I have the hat. Yeah, that's true. No, I don't. No, I don't have the hat. No, you don't have the hat. You I got spells. Um, no, like I would assume we would ask how long this is going to be, so we have some kind of time frame. Three hours. Three hours. Yeah, operas are long. I can make that. I can make that work. How much? How much? How? Because this this guy's self only lasts for an hour. But yeah. I would assume I'm not up there Scar all three hours. Scarlet gives you, like, she'll give you the hint when to do it. Like, when okay. you, I assume you cool. explain it to her, like, hey, I can do this. And she's um, like, I also, I, also, I also want to explain to her if the dragon is there, I can, I could, uh, mist it up to make it look, uh, smoky-ish. Um, if they need, a, if they need additional players. She, she actually is like, can you make an illusion? Oh, yes, ma'am, I can. Make a dragon. I don't care about anything else, just make the dragon. Because the puppet's gone. It's destroyed. Um, so it that's will, your guys' thing. Will, it will literally take up all my first spell slots, but I'll do, do you, it. Do you guys see what's on the screen right now? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so the fanfare begins, and the oh. overture begins uh, to play. Uh, oh, before, yeah. before that, Panic actually wanted to go to, up to Starlight and be like, um, actually, uh... I don't know if you were informed, but I am also a musician, and I do have my instrument here. So if you need anybody, she grabs you by each arm, like she's stressed. She's like a director, and she's just, I know that, I appreciate that, but right now I really need you to be an actor. Okay. I'll put in a good word for Crumblebum. 
I'll take Bat, it. Bat's eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You're the best, you're the best, you're the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And she rushes yep. and uh, the first act begins and the triumphant music begins to play over and over and over again. And the battle scene from the first part of the, the opera begins to play out. And the storm giant's sitting and he's kind of resting his hand on his, his, his head on his hand and his elbow. And he's kind of leaning on this makeshift chair. He's kind of, he's just sitting on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> like all right but you do notice next to him in this particular place he pointed out is a very small set of stones Aww. which you assume is the grave um and the play begins to to go and there's this big battle of all the fights and it actually kind of entices the giant the giant's like oh hey it's actually kind of cool uh and then task you are rushed out on to the stage i hope you memorized your lines uh what no no oh fucking hell <laughs> okay oh. whoa 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 <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> da, 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 there we go. All right, Tess, okay. you're first. What was your line? <laughs> no writing it down. Don't you dare cheat for this. No writing it down. This I is. Li I literally had to fucking look away from the computer screen to make sure I wasn't getting an important phone call the whole time. Fuck. Okay, you have to make it up. D&D uh... <laughs> &D, improvising. <sighs> You, you are thrown out, and the captain, the actor who's the captain, goes up, Sir, what report do you have of the battlefront? My lord, all my men are gone, all 45 of them. The demon has taken hold of my entire men. My fleet is gone. We must, we must counteract. And immediately the play continues, and you stand there at, at, at balance, and eventually the scene ends, and there's a bit of a pause waiting for an applause, and the giant kind of like looks around, like, what the hell do I, I guess I just, boom, 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 he claps his hands together, and as he does, waves rush out of the island, and you can hear, the, you can see the pirates like, ah, down below. <laughs> Uh, then there's a beautiful song of one of the female performers singing this, this beautiful melody, and then Panic, you are up next. Nope, you don't get to see. There you go. Panic, you're up next. Okay. <clears throat> All these maidens so rings absent on their fingers and hearts full of dreams. Oh, my lordship, Rengenvir, your heart is needing so a hand to hold. A heart to heart, your own, my king, and another. You watch as a storm dry, like. <laughs> Actually, uh, task and panic. Roll, uh, roll performance checks. Oh fuck me! All right, here we <laughs> go. Uh, Wahoo! Twelve. Okay, you're rusty. You've never done this before. Let's but, see. But like, Starlight is like, good job, good job. Hmm. I'm gonna. Let, all right. Let's let's slap some stank on this one, provided okay. I don't get a natural one. All right. Uh. Uh, that is a 20, 20 and entertaining chord. Okay, but can you do that on not playing an instrument? Uh, uh whenever you whenever you make a charisma performance check. Okay, yeah. Nice. Can so, you click that so I can see what it does? Yeah. Boom. Wait. You got to click the red thing. It, I did. It just oh. it just it just folded it out. Oh, oh. wait. You Wait, have to click no. the, the chat button. There's like a little chat symbol, like a. Chat ah, button. okay, got it. This is like new. That. This is weird. Uh, entertaining career. Make up a Christmas performance check. You spend one use of bardic inspiration. Roll a bardic inspiration die. Add the number rolled to your ability. Okay, so roll a d6. Slap some stank on it. Four. The storm giant actually like wipes a tear from his face. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he steadies himself on his chair. Um, and he watches like an entire thing of seagulls brings down like a, a giant clamshell with what looks like a drink <laughs> and he starts drinking. He's really enthralled at this. And he's leaning back. Uh, Marky, it is now your turn as the next scene begins and there's a carriage, quote unquote, brought onto the stage. Borky just stands there. <laughs> <laughs> Starlight, Starlight goes, come on, come on, come on. I am Harold. <laughs> I am announcing that people are coming. Very important. Roll. I am Harold <laughs> and Borky. Roll a performance check with disadvantage. No! He can't read! You had an episode! Really? Streaker, read! Really? 
Okay, you remembered that, good. But yeah, roll a performance with disadvantage. <laughs> Four! <laughs> the storm giant's kind of like, Ngh, and then looks to the graveson and goes, eh, okay, and looks forward. Uh, <laughs> and it comes to the part where, where Starlight sings her song and then runs off the stage in wistful love. And um, Greckles, your line comes up next. Okay, so if I, I want to do a thing, would you let me attempt it if I can explain it? I, being, being the sneaky bastard, I would have actually tried to write down my lines somewhere on me and sneak it. Can uh, I, can I, can I slide, can I slide of hand slide it? Slide of hand with disadvantage and your gloves will not work here. 19. 19, okay. Starlight doesn't notice. Let's see if the giant Booyah! Uh, oh, actually, let me grab his stats. I put his stats away. One second. Greckles cares enough about fear that he's willing to cheat. Wow. Wow. The guy. <laughs> so, he's not a, so he's not a real actor, is what you're saying? Oh! <laughs> no, he's not. He's not a real actor, but he admires real Uh Oh, he's got plus four. Holy crap. Okay, uh, that puts at 21. So that's... Yeah, disadvantage. Yeah, so he does see it. Um, he doesn't understand though. He's just like, just want a piece of paper. Yeah, whatever. Just kind of watches, but he does. He does make a note of that. But uh, um, yeah. bef before I get on stage, I will. I will expend a disguise self to just look as most convincing of a nasty shopkeeper as I can. Yeah, you got like a wart on your beak, even though that's physically impossible. Yep. But you manage. Yeah, you manage to write down your line, but you got to perform it. So. Simple maiden girl, the floor needs to be swept and the linen bolts need to be counted. Do not toil your mind with dreams and be certain to make hands of- make your hands of use. Roll a performance check. Oh god, that is a nat one. That is a nat one. As you're oh. reading through your, your, your little disguise falls out onto the ground, you scramble and you pick it up. And your scene ends with you, and so you just awkwardly kind of step off, and the giant just starts to laugh. He starts to laugh <laughs> boisterously, and the bells gong and ring, swaying side to side. He's smacking the side of the stone, and he laughs and laughs and laughs. Let it be and known, as... let it be known, kids. No matter how much you try to prepare, a net one still fail. <laughs> yep. And eventually, the show comes to a close, and you guys all are. Starlight actually like brings you guys out. Like, come out, come out, come out, come out and uh vows like they all do like the company bow uh together and they do invite you out Yay. and um you all bow and the storm giant stands up and he begins to clap and as he does this almost gray stone begins to fill with life plants begin to grow and some of the clouds begin to kind of drift away and what little life there was has come back and seagulls begin to land on the rune stone and the giant looks up and looks to you and goes, the deal is done. You have my thanks and my promise, follow me. And he begins to step down. And as he does, the spread of life begins to follow him. Ooh, Vines yeah. grow, moss grows. And you begin to see in the distance, a whale. <sighs> Coast are over you, the tide. Are you Pinocchioing Pinocchio us? Just wait, just wait. <laughs> Calm down, boy, down. Calm down. Um, mm. He leads you down the steps, and you. The place feels more alive, and the rune stone begins to just naturally glow. It doesn't require him next to it to make it work. And he looks up and he sighs, and he turns. He goes, "Every great rune stone needs a guardian, and a caller." Perhaps it was cruel for me to tie that small one to this place. Perhaps wrong by my people's rules. But they have done a good job so far. As for them, and he jabs a, a finger towards the pirates, I will cast them to a human land to attest for their multiple crimes. I will let the small folk deal with their own. As for you, and you begin to hear the tides shift apart as you see Captain Bladesfoot's ship being brought onto the shore like a like a kayak on its side. Um, and you see just a like an entire conveyor of crabs again, led by Crabius the Mighty, 
who <laughs> scuttles up to uh, Stormbeard and clacks his claws. Excellent, Crabius. And what of the treasure? And you watch as more crabs bring forth various treasures. He goes, excellent. That will be for us. Hmm. He turns and looks at you guys. What is it called when you performers are paid? It's a... Uh, uh, there's a better word. Patronage. Hmm. I would like all of you guys to roll nothing because he likes you. Yay! So, Yay! Let's figure out how much you guys get. Bluffing? No, you're not bluffing. He likes you. The performance was good enough. Ugh. All right, let's see what you guys. Snake, get. why did you roll a, a one d zero? <laughs> why did you what? He told me to roll nothing. No, I did. Oh, you did. You cheeky. <laughs> I missed my roll. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. okay. Okay, not bad. You guys make seventeen uh, hundred, so one thousand seven hundred gold pieces. Nice. Uh, nice. All together. Yeah. Uh, all together. Actually, no. Hold on. Let me roll for that. <laughs> Forgot to roll the second part. Sorry. That is two. So times two. 1,700 times two is... I can't math. 3,400. 3, yeah, so you guys make 3,400 gold pieces. Divided by oh, four wow. and... is we each get 850. There you go. Um, the Good. actors are also compensated in the same way. Like, crabs just walk up to them and just throw, like, pearl <laughs> necklaces at people. <laughs> and, like... <laughs> Um, like one guy, like one of the crabs has a battle axe and is like running up to like one of the gnome performers to give it to him. The gnome performer's like, oh, and begins to run away. And it just drops the axe on the ground and scuttles back into the ocean. And the storm giant goes, there is plenty of fish aboard to feed you. And the whale shall ferry this vessel back to its rightful owners. Hmm. Um, storm wow. beard. <laughs> What? Will our paths ever cross again? No. <laughs> he, <just> looks like... <laughs> <laughs> no. he looks like really offended by even that insinuation. Like, no. <laughs> I am a rune caller. My business is that of the sea. I came to the surface due to this disturbances and back to the sea I will go. Greco's just very well. Do you, okay, uh, um, do you wish us to at least make good of your existence uh, to uh, really? our commanders? Captain Canary, and he leans down. I have met one who sailed these seas to find a new land by the name of Captain Canary. We sat down and drank wine and his chef made the most delicious food. What a Boys. beautiful halfling he was. Boys! What? He's talking his about name, Ty Morpenton. He's, he's talking yeah. about Ty. That's crazy. That's Ty's boat. We know of we know of the chef you speak of. He actually is among our he's among our companions back home. He's been unfortunately cursed by some hag. His face oh. is that of a fish. The storm giant just cringes when you say that. A sea hag. Yes. Yay. They have grown more Cursing powerful over the years. Them and those dreaded blue dragons are a parasite upon this beautiful ocean. Hmm. Hmm. Do you want me to say anything to Ty for you? Tell him that the chicken was delicious. I will tell him And that. if he has the recipe to put it in a bottle and throw it into the water, I wouldn't mind. Will I get, will, will I get back to you then if he does that? Perhaps. Okay, mm. I'm just make a note. You Crabby, a Crab Tass looks over at Crabius. You can probably get on that, right? Crabius snips his claws. Uh, real quick, actually. I'm seeing that fancy axe over there. The crab is like still picking it up and trying to give it to the gnome. That is the gnome's payment, not yours. <laughs> what gnome? You guys... Jesus. You I... should keep your small folk greed in check. I just don't... Okay. I just... Gr no, this, I... at this point, Greckles will physically go over... <laughs> way. Wait, sorry, you cut you out. You cut out what? there for a second. Hang on. At this point, Greckles would go over to Borky and just try to push him away. <laughs> No, but I want it, but it's a nice Borky, Borky, no. Borky, stop no. it. Borky, uh, shush. Get on the boat. 
You guys uh, all load up uh, into the reaching, boat. Long no, panic, reaching out to it. Panic, uh, panic stays behind for a moment, actually. Stormbeard, like, looks down and he goes, There's nowhere to sleep here. Um, I actually had the question for you. Uh, if could, very if well. So, if I could be so bold, you, you seem attuned to storm magic, obviously. Yes. I myself, I've always kind of been naturally attuned to thunder magic. He kneels down and kind of gets a better look at you. Yours does not come from that of nature, but what has been stolen from nature. Oh. Mm. Oh, dear. That a lot, actually. Feel no shame. All small folk do this to some regard. I want to use my music to help people. Perhaps your interest would be suited at a temple of Aspa. I've heard that name before. God of the seas. Commander of the ocean. He waves his hand and waves erupt from the side of the island. And the creatures that call it home. And the skies that guide us. Your and thunder. Sea, your sea folk did... The, the creatures of the sea did tend to like my performances. Yes. Cravia spoke most highly of your talents. He oh. said you were a radical dude. I don't <laughs> yeah. get I don't get crustacean lingo these days. I'm far too old for that, but I assume this means you were good. Well, thank you, Stormbeard. I will take your advice. I will seek out the Temple of Aspa. Good. In the meantime, the whales will take you home. Thank you. And I'm glad we could help. Thank you. And he nods. That was that was very genuine. There was a lot of boisterousness to him, but that that was very genuine. And panic heads off to the boat. Okay. You guys get on the boat and you feel it kind of being balanced between two large forms of giant whales beneath it. Um you watch mm -hmm. as he walks over to the pirates. And he bubbles them, like he pulls out a bubble of water and kind of encases them in the bubble and turns it to ice, like a prison, and then pokes some holes in there so they don't, you know, suffocate. And then he begins to walk into the water, keeping the bubble aloft in his hand and goes the opposite direction with them oh, in tow. Real quick, I'm assuming Scarlet also got on, right? Oh yeah, Scarlet's on the boat. She's actually waving at you as you're kind of climbing aboard on the gangplank. <laughs> yeah, she's there. Uh, all the kids are there. Uh, poor Kiwi did get taken away, but he was a pirate, so... He was a... I, I want everyone to understand he was a pirate. Yeah. There's not a lot you can do when you have that kind of a black mark on your history. Mm -hmm. He sold people into slavery, guys. How does that make you Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In your arms of a granddad. <laughs> He's uh, not... I mean, they're not gonna die. They're just being dispersed. Yet. Uh, as you actually get on the ship, Panic, uh, Scarlet runs up to you and she goes, uh, Panic! Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, this is gonna make me seem so bad. I um, I really want to stay with you, but that thing that we did was so cool. The thing with with the singing and and the 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 big curtains and I really like that a lot. Can I? Can I do that? Hmm. I'm panic. Rubs rubs his uh his uh brambly chin and uh he looks over to starlight she kind of she's hearing the conversation she looks at you and she goes it's possible like hey yeah like nods like mm -hmm. well uh color me shocked but uh if that's what you want to do then by all means go for it okay oh and she like starts to run around like paces back and forth like i i'm really excited to do it um Maybe I could be a singer one day. And she starts like walks off and like kind of like a kid, just like I could do this and I could do that. And the other kids get excited too. And the Noel kid is currently like sleeping on his side. <laughs> oh, he's had a big day of growling. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Crabs. <laughs> yeah. And the ship takes off, and you guys make your way back to Alabas. That is where we will end the session tonight, and you guys level up to level five. Yay! Oh! Yes! Oh! As 
we enter Ooh. the next arc. Nice. Wow, that was two that was a basic attacks, baby. Yeah, you're a powerhouse oh, now. Don't think I won't. Oh, we, we got two basic attacks now. No, certain classes do. We'll go over yours, Kurt. When okay, no, days. yay. Chapter Sorry. five. Panic uh, Tully has by a D &D good day. Stand, by GM D and D standards, we have officially just became from local heroes to the world kind of knows of our deeds based yeah. on the D and D lore. No, I'm not really following that, but no, yeah, no, I, mean, I know, but I'm just saying, like, this is pretty monumentous of all it's, things. It's considered. it's a pretty good power spike, yeah. Um, yeah. which yeah. reminds me, we'll we'll have to talk at one point. I know you're moving, uh, but at one point, Zito, we'll, we should chat. Um, but yes, thus end yeah. whatever the heck we want to call this quote unquote arc. It was kind of a weird all over the place arc, but it was. It was fun. Uh, On to the next chapter, chapter five. Panic Foley has a good day. <laughs> Fine. That'll never happen. That's never gonna panic happen. Ha pa straight, panic has a straightforward good time. <laughs> oh, hey, you have your uh, yeah. return ticket. You that is true. Go. I'm gonna give it to Ozzy, but oh well. Uh, oh. All right, I, we can stop our recording, guys. I think. Yeah. Right. Bye, Austin. Thank you, Austin. I will. All right, that's good. But this, this, this was fun. I felt like it didn't have much to add, but there was so much fun listening to all of it, though. This was yeah. really neat. Sorry, it's kind of out of. What? What? Don't no, don't even apologize. This is uh, this is uh. Thirty three. This thirty four. Thirty four. Episode thirty four. Yeah. yeah. Okay, raise one thousand bits. I want a high five, Monty, for the bits for the did a good job. You did a good job, and we also got five hundred bits from Monkey D Luffy five oh five. That was Nadine, good. Awesome. Voice, by the way. <laughs> that that was really awesome, Nadine. I love that. This was yeah. such a fun session. It was not a side adventure, but at the same time, I really quite liked ah, it. Ah, I'm a robot. One second. I expected we would go with the pirates, do the bit, and then we would get returned, but... I, oh. I, learned, I learned some lovely things about the monster manual, including that Kowattles, for whatever reason, are a challenge rating for monster, and yet can speak every language, speak telepathically. And they're good. They are good, yeah, um, but they are broken. Like, they have a chain sheet that doesn't specify when that happens. So oh, wait, one sec. Guys, sorry about this. I don't know what's happening to the signal. Signals. Addicts of the place, and I got the cabbage. That's never ending a power source. <laughs> God, oh, God, God forbid. I God forbid I ever roll a natural 20 on intimidation or performance because holy shit. Yeah, that. Can you guys hear me okay? Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, yeah, uh, now we can. Can. It's, it's, ever... it's the snow. It's got to be the snow outside. It's, it's, you're we've fine. had nonstop snow for like two days. And... Awesome, like 300 and change bits. Thank you so much. Is it been snowing that much, really? Yeah. It's, it's up to my it's, waist. It's... it's like past my belly button if I oh, walk shit. out. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's... Well, it's been nonstop rain down here, so I was curious about that. Yeah, like no, 500 it's, bits. It's... At fifth level, you'll get an extra attack and 10 more feet of movement while not wearing heavy armor as a barbarian. Ooh. Well, I love you all of that. I get um, but 500 bits for Borky's beautiful performance. Thank you, ex Nickum. S Nightshade, 300 bits. Hey, Panic, make sure to check the lies mask when you have a chance. I'm, I'm Harold. <laughs> I am Harold. Let's see. Yep, Tash have... gets an oh, extra yeah. fucking attack. I get to attack twice, and I get my second level spells. Yep. Yeah, I also get. I also get. No, I get. I get third level spells. Now I get to be more mean. I get. I get. Where's, where's the extra attack listed? Is that under features, uh, or is that you... elsewhere? We'll we'll deal with this later. I really need to eat tonight because I really need to. Me too. Yeah, well, yeah. that was what, that was... inspiration, font of inspiration, and counter charm. Oh snap! Uh... We, we, we will we will have fun this week going over going over everything. Yeah. But, uh... Sorry, I don't want to shut down anything, but it's just I know. Like, I'm, oh, just, every, I'm just excited. Every time you guys level up, it's like I'm like I need to eat, and I'm, you guys are wanting to level Scott, up right away. No, which is I'm, fine. I'm, Scott, I'm, Scott I'm just excited. Tricks. I'll probably do all the stuff in my own time, and then go over it with you. Once oh, well, I, yeah. I, we are gonna get HP, so I want to do that quick roll right now. Just yeah, so yeah. Get your get HP rolls way. right now would be a good what, idea. Oh, what, what, do, what do I have to do for HP? Your uh, his die plus your con. Yeah, so you, Kurt, you need to roll... Six. Got, six for me. You got a six? Okay. Uh, Kurt, you need to roll a uh, 1d12. Yeah. Plus your constitution. So just roll a 1d12. I swear to God, Eight. if you roll a 12. Okay, good. Um, plus your constitution, which is five. So you gain 13 more hit points. You have 60, Three. 63 hit points now. You goddamn... How am I going to murder you? I got... You? 
It's okay. I'll act, I'll act dumber if I'll act dumber if you need me to. You can keep tanking now. <laughs> Monty, don't worry about me. We'll do that later. Yeah, if it's okay. Uh, no. Just I, I would like to. Mill Ninja, thank you for the one thousand bits. <laughs> And dark, dark, DRK Gamma, thank you for 100. Oh, I'm so glad the Scarlet storyline wrapped up with a happy ending. No, it, but the moment you left her behind, it was just like, uh, she is, she's talking with Lisa, and Lisa's telling her, like, he's not your dad. So. So now she's going to go, so now she's going to go join the opera instead? Yeah, she's interested in the okay. opera. But she's never seen a show before, but she fell in love. There we go. Cool. <laughs> My goodness, this was fun. This is fun. All right, guys, this has been the Unexpectables uh, D and D <clears throat> live stream. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the bits and subscriptions. Mm -hmm. uh, where can they find your work at, our DM Extraordinaire Monty? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Monty Blue, and you can find me on Twitch at uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Monty Blue. I actually am streaming tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, we're going house hunting mm -hmm. in the morning, and then I'm streaming tomorrow, I think, with uh, Sir Malarvik, if all goes well. So, are you doing uh, another uh, art stream? Yeah, yeah. Thursdays are the only day I actually stream regularly. <laughs> so. Okay, cool. Yeah. Natural Drake, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Beautiful performance, guys. Thanks for the interesting plot, as always, Monty. Uh, all right, Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you? You guys can literally find me anywhere. Uh, Twitch, Twitter, especially YouTube. I I make a couple of sweet videos about culture. Um, at, I'm shocked. At a, oh, 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 oh. I saw what you did there. I saw what you did there, my son. Uh, just you can find me at Gaijin Goomba most of the time with an H at the end. Uh, sometimes not. And where can they find you, Senile Snake? And they can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake. And they can find me on Twitch at Senile Snake with a three instead of an E at the end. Awesome, awesome. And Zito, where can they find you? You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito, hopefully by this Sunday. Sounds good. And you can find me as, as at Takahata101 on Twitter and right here. And tomorrow I'll be streaming some more ex-comedians. Alrighty, guys. Uh, with that, we're signing off. we got to come up with a name for this episode. Mm -hmm. any, uh, any ideas? Someone had a good one up above. It was uh, Storm on the Horizon. Ah, uh, that's and and good. the grand performance. I honestly would love uh, the grand finale, but I know that would cause confusion. But I love the song "The Grand Finale" from Final Fantasy VI. But the grand performance that's... is not. People that may anymore. not get that joke. Yeah, I know, and that's, that's what makes me sad. Um, the the grand the grand performance. The final bow. No, I don't want anything with final in it because no. then people will think we're stopping. <laughs> Ballad at sea. I am Dang. Harold. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ballad at Sea, honestly. Ballad pieces at of, Sea. Pieces of classical music inspired by the sea. Uh, let's see. Sea is an inspiration. The Flying Dutchman ship. Heralds of the Sea. Heralds of the Sea. Heralds of the Sea. The, there we go. This, That's actually not bad. bad. That's actually really not that bad. Mm. The deadliest uh, catch. God. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> Storm Daddy. No. <laughs> Do we, do we oh. want a million downloads? Because no. that's how you get a million no. downloads. <laughs> Heralds of the Storm. Snakes on a ship. Oh my god. That's pretty good. That one's not. That one's pretty good, actually. Snakes on a ship. A giant snakes performance. Giant. That's not a, bad either. Giant performance. Giant performance. I like that one. That's good. A giant. A giant performance. A giant performance. Yay. A giant performance. It is. Alrighty, guys. Talk to you later. Take care, Bye. guys.